What in the God f- damn. What, what is <laughs> going on? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. This one, this one, you know, went to the top of the triangle, the creme de la creme. Hey, no, we don't got no fancy yeah. like Yeah. God My boy Sean damn. made that for me real quick. He said, he said hey, Dutch. Hey, Dutch, I'm going to make an intro for you, Dutch. <laughs> Fucking it, yeah. I'm going to make an intro for you. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, all right, cool, man. Because I was like, man, Scram posted the intro. He was like, oh, I'll make it, Dutch. Yeah. I'll make a shit for you. Yeah. You, for you, you are a black bitch. Yeah. I'll make it for you. <laughs> anyway, y'all, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Scram Punks, episode 83. As you see, my boy Sean made it. It's a quick little intro. Uh, you know, it's something, you know, because Scram Punks is the shit. Um, and I appreciate Scram Punks. I always say this story. I'm saying it again. A couple years ago, Ma said, hey, Dirt, man, why don't you come on over here? Come on to Scram Punks, man. You know, I got a little podcast named Scram Punks. And at that time, you know, it wasn't popping like that. You know, we had about, what, 12, uh, uh, like, viewers shit, and shit? My, my, minus six to 12 minus six <laughs> yeah but you know over the last couple of years we've grown and um we're still here we ain't going nowhere so i appreciate everybody that's in the chat crazy old school geek head 188 ball and holler for he sorry i'm truthful mr kima everybody uh uh show shansu I'm the real coolie Coolito out. Oh, Coolito. I got to get that right. Coolito. Thank y'all for uh, showing up. We appreciate it. There's a lot of competition tonight. Z's <laughs> live. Uh, Fame ENT's live. Wilming Hood. Kid Smooth. I think Mr. Once, uh, like Mr. 100 just went live. So I know you have a lot of options tonight. And if you decide to come and see us talk, we appreciate you. We appreciate Don't tell you. me about to leave. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, nah, uh, <laughs> I hope oh, not. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> well, anyway, MM2K, my brother, what is going on with you this Wednesday evening? Nothing, man. Nothing, nothing, man. Just enjoying my Stadia on my any on all my Android devices, my wireless control. I was just playing a uh, Monster Boy in the, in the Cursed Kingdom, uh, Bunny. That's that's some good shit. It's another port came over from the Switch over the Stadia, baby. Yeah. Which one? Uh, Monster Boy in the Cursed Kingdom. Yeah, it was it was pretty interesting. I played the demo for it. I just got way too many games right now. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. So I'm having fun. <laughs> with that, that uh, Stadia like wireless support for the Android phones, Moss. Yes, sir. Wireless support. For for any any joystick you got, any controller, it is everything, baby. It's 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 a it's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing. Yeah, uh, Snow Bunny. What's up? Hey, baby, what's going on with you, honey? Uh, I've just name? got a lot of shit going on. That's, that's all Uh-oh. I can say. Uh-oh. Ain't nobody the best with you, is it? RB, yeah, what's up, bro? Uh, no, hey, nobody with me. RB, you wanna hop on? <laughs> yeah, RB. Yeah, we, we can handle up to no, ten. Think RB now. At work. Yeah, we can. Yeah, yeah. At work. Oh. Yeah, RB. I don't know what he be doing in the background. He be dragging bodies. I don't. He got a <laughs> season, <laughs> season four of Dark from Netflix going on in the background. I don't know what be going on with RB. <laughs> I just started watching that. I just started yeah, yeah, that. I did too. I did too. I did. Yeah, I'm on uh, season one, episode five, I believe. Okay, you're a little bit ahead of me. I'm on four. I'm on four. Yeah, what's up? Yeah. It's a show My called Dark. Dark. You might have been telling me to watch it. So exactly. Yeah, yeah. bro. Yeah. Oh, you at work? Okay, bro. It's all good. All good. Uh, but tsunami. What's going on with you, bro? Nothing much. Nothing much. Uh, shit. We'll go from a nap. <laughs> I don't see what's up, but you know, I'm here. I had to set my alarm because I know one time I I slept through it, but uh, yeah, definitely made it. Uh, you know, even though some people couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. Hey, Sue. Okay. Hey, you hey. on coach, right? Huh? You on like Eastern Standard Time, right? Yeah. Oh, so nigga, at nine o'clock, that ain't no nap, nigga. That's that's <laughs> you know, it, you it, know it, nap at nine o'clock at night. You just woke up early. <laughs> nah, it is it's a nap when you fall asleep at like five. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> this is this is a nap. He he's trying to return to his hobbies of being able to nap and then go back out to the club. There you go. I used to do those things. <laughs> <laughs> take myself. a nap at five, wake up by <laughs> nine, <laughs> hit the club the by eleven, and you're good. Oh, uh, she, 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 hey, she done, she done, she done out of me. Should have told the whole <laughs> thing. <laughs> hey, Victor, say where's Neff? Well, I'm gonna be honest. I 
apologize, man. Neff uh, isn't here tonight. <laughs> Neff isn't here tonight. I was expecting him, but he's not here tonight. I, I'll leave it at that. Because I actually had some Halo stuff to ask him about, but, you know, he ain't here. So, oh, well, oh, well. But last but not least, my boy, Hyper Fan Game. What's up, bro? What's up, man? Yeah, I'm just hanging out, Ben. Just playing games, man. That's why I haven't really uploaded a video this week. I don't I don't think I've had one. But I yeah, I've just been trying to take out some of my backlog, you know what I'm saying? Get some of these games beat. So uh new games dropping on Game Pass and whatnot, downloading okay. some of them. Okay. okay. Hey, um, hey, si- a funny story, side note real quick about Devin. So Devin, I tell you a story when Devin, you know, he was drunk and he was drunk fucking in the uh, Xbox Live party. And then, you know, he was over there inviting all the, you know, WB Jim G, G members that was up and stuff. So, you know, I'm entertaining him because he, he he's funny. But I look at his I look at his profile page and he has this weird symbol that looks like the optimized for Series X symbol on, on it. And then it has like a, like a controller and a wreath in it. I said, what the fuck is that? And I'm like, that looked like the optimized Series X. He's like, I don't know. I guess I'm better than you. <laughs> Drunk, whatever. So I look it up. <laughs> And, he, and come to find out, it's probably the new badge for um, ambassadors. So I, I said, okay, let me try to be an ambassador. So, you know, I, I go through the form, read the little stuff, and then, you know, I, I sign the thing for, to become an ambassador. So I sent it to the, to the, to the Discord, Z's Discord, and then Posto tried to make fun of me. He's like, ah, look at you. And the next thing you know, he popped back up. He mm-hmm. just sent a screenshot of him being an ambassador. And then now everybody that was in the Discord said, "I right, fuck it, I'm on Xbox. I'm gonna be an ambassador." And then all of a sudden, it gets to Twitter, and you know who wants to troll? J Dub. He goes and he signs up to be an ambassador. He puts it in his t- uh, Twitter name, J Dub Xbox Ambassador. I saw and then, that. <laughs> like through, through, through osmosis, <laughs> fucking fucking Craig, 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 I believe, whatever his name is, the one that posts all he's had beef with. Yeah. PlayStation dude, I guess he he put Craig whatever Xbox ambassador. So low key, Devin, you're the you're you're the reason why uh, 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 everybody got an Xbox ambassador in their name now. All right, because <laughs> it's me. Right. Up, everybody. It's the more the merrier. Huh? <laughs> oh damn it! I'm you you a- becoming <laughs> a true influencer. I I know I, I'm leading <laughs> the Xbox ambassadors. <laughs> I, I said, li- they li- like literally, you know, people say sign a contract. Literally, you have to sign a contract. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, it's about Xbox contracts. You can sign an Xbox contract. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, y'all. We got some things to talk about. Uh, some, some, some Xbox news came out. Some Nintendo, uh, no, there's not really much Nintendo news, but some Sony news. Well, anyway, uh, we just had a shareholders meeting where the president, of the CEO, apologized. Oh, that's for what? Uh, the Joy Con drift, but he yes, couldn't that, elaborate uh, on it set because of the class action lawsuit here in America. Oh, okay, huh? Uh, I saw, I saw that. I, that, that was that was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. All right then, y'all. Uh, so the first thing I want to talk about is Xbox Summer Game Fest week, I guess, uh, from July twenty first to July twenty seventh. Y'all, they're gonna have demos and sixty playable games and all of that shit. A whole, oh, yeah, this is well, like demos. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, what do you guys think about this now? There's also some talk about July 23rd will be the date of the event. Now, obviously, it's not official because Xbox hasn't come out with that official date, but possibly July 23rd. But, Moss, you know, I always go to you first. What do you think about this Summer Game Fest demo event uh, coming July 21st to Xbox One? I'm assuming you can download, well, of course, because there's no physical building you're going to be at so they're going to have demos on xbox one you could download a lot of people are assuming halo uh infinite is like going to have a a beta that week or maybe after that or maybe announced so like what do you think about this man is it cool god damn i missed i missed those studio notes you hold on let let me see if i understand this is right again they're getting a while during the the july 23rd supposedly during the july 23rd presentation they're gonna they're gonna have demos accessible for you to play 
uh, from July 21st to July 27th. Oh, yeah, from yeah. Look, that's, that, yeah, that's a good thing. Look, we were talking about that um, on multiple fronts. Um, Je I know Jeff Keeley was talking about that. Uh, mm -hmm. When he, you know, because that, that's an idea that originated from from uh, what, um, not TwitchCon, but um, BlizzCon or something like mm -hmm. that. Um, we said that more people need to adopt it. I made a video about Stadia. I said, look, y'all got the cloud gaming and it should be easy for y'all to do. Y'all should do something like this. If Microsoft does it, man, that's 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 some good stuff. Mm -hmm. That's some good stuff. But and let me let me be careful of how I say that dirt because apparently when I'll be on, on this show, I'll be capping for Xbox. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I, hey, hey, who Sue, I don't know. I don't know who I don't know who was doing lines when they said that, but if that's apparently the case, what? when I be on Scram Punks, I'm capping for Xbox. I want to know who his dealer is. That, that, was, you know that, was, that was pre E3 2019. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they they pulled up the wrong they pulled up the wrong year. But yeah, let me let me be careful how I say that. But if if, if the Xbox do do that, that's that's gonna be a great thing, man. That's okay. Thing. Yeah. 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 I agree. I think it's cool. Uh, uh, let's get this super chat right quick. Snowbunny, you got it, baby. Yep. Infinite Infinity Hand with the two dollars. Thank you for the two dollars. What y'all think of The Last of Us Two? Hey man, I got a review on my page about it, bro. You know, um, I thought it was a, I thought it was a good game, but I was a little. Uh, I didn't like some of the things they did with the story, but the actual gameplay graphics is pretty good. But the, you know, the story, the story is not bad. It's just some decisions they made in the story that kind of pissed me off a little bit. So I'll go even further. Some people are saying, "Why? What's the point of the game? Like, why even make the game?" Like I was watching, I was watching Spawn Wave, and you know he's he's a fucking neutral like, like ass gamer. Actually, he's probably skewed more towards PlayStation than 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 than, than Xbox. Um, but he was like, yeah. So you know, after you beat the game, it's kind of like, well, what, what was the point? Like, yeah. it's I watched the whole, game was, the whole oh, yeah. game was unnecessary. <laughs> so besides the fact that decisions were made and you know characters act, you know acted non-believable to what we know them to be and you know very everything was very convenient as far as how things happened and how people found each other and how people survived this time and, and it seemed like it was a lot of deus ex machina and you know a lot of you know plot plot holes where this person had to survive to make it to this point um so yeah besides besides people you know you know doing that the game itself is like what was the point? Because the overarching, you know, narrative of them being in this world is 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 kind of moot. Like fuck the zombies, they we, they're here now. Fuck getting the cure. Fuck you know trying to you know better mankind. We're here now. This is how we live in. Like in the first one, they had a goal, and like you know the human melodrama was in between that. But this, it was only about human human melodrama, and the zombies were just the you know the little you know annoyances. But yeah, I mean, I think the gameplay looked awesome. Um, the, the the graphics are awesome, the animations, all that kind of stuff. Shooting shooting isn't all that, but um, besides that, um, there's definitely uh, a game that is is to be played if you if if you have any kind of interest in it. And if you don't, I don't think you will. Mm. Um, hey, hey, Matt, you want to come on, bro? Hell yeah, bring that nigga. I'm gonna send you a link just in case you want to come on. It's not, you know, unless you on Z show. <laughs> yes, <Yeah, it's my laughs> <true. laughs> uh, but yeah. So, Devin, man, so what you think about this whole, you know, I we, I uh, haven't beat the whole game yet, man. No, 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 no. So. <laughs> mm. <laughs> not the last. One. I'm talking about the Summer Game Fest, Xbox Summer Fest thing, man. What you think uh, about? That? I I think it's cool that uh like we all get to try the demos, like because usually like it even said in the article it this would be like a on the floor type of thing at E3, mm -hmm. like they're gonna be having demos for games that are like far like really far away from even being released, so I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, man. Um, I think this is cool, but they're also saying like I mentioned this day of uh. July 23rd is the date for that event. Uh, the guy with well, Jeff Grubb, you know, he seems to have uh, have some sources. He's saying July 23rd. So I don't know, man. I, I don't think, know about that. <laughs> I mean, it could be. It could be. It's possible. It could be. I mean, yeah. I'm just going to wait and see, honestly. Yeah. I know it's sometime this month, so not that much longer to wait. 
Yeah, so it's no money. I know you don't give a shit, but I gotta ask you Actually, anyway. No, I have an opinion on that. Oh shit. Okay. I mean, I think it's a great thing because I'm one of the types of people who love to play demos. Uh, if I have a choice between two games and one has a demo and one doesn't, and if I like the demo to the game that does have the demo, I'm gonna buy the game with the demo. Mm. You understand yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. She said, "You got if I go to the mall and I'm at the food court and they got the little finger snacks, and you point out and say you want to try it, I'm gonna try it. And if the other spot don't, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the spot that had the finger snacks." <laughs> and especially if I like the food snacks, but do you understand what I mean? Yeah. That is something that will change the opinion of whether or not you get it. For you guys, or for people with Xbox Ones, those demos that y'all are going to be playing will determine whether or not you're going to either A, stick with Xbox, or B, even upgrade to the Series X. So mm -hmm. the fact that they're going to have those demos, that's a great thing. Uh, uh. Hmm. It feel, uh, it kind of feels like they're trying to do their own mini E3. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they are. Exactly. Yeah, yeah they are. They are. So, and, yeah. see, with, and with them doing it digital like this, you don't have, they, they would never be able to have 60 games on a show floor at E3 for you to demo. Yeah. Okay. With it going to your X, one, your One X, y'all can demo them right there in your house, and then you'll know. Oh, okay, I want this game. I want this game. I want this game. I think I'm gonna upgrade to the Series X. Blasey, blasey, blasey. It's giving you options to see what's <laughs> coming out. And we have a super chat with Geekhead One Eighty Eight. <laughs> Geekhead, thank you for the one ninety nine. I heard the PlayStation Five will be held back. Will held. Will hold back the Series X and the S. Yeah, <laughs> that's the yeah. topic. That's yeah, the that's funniest the shit. That's the funniest shit. Oh, we're going to get to it later. Okay. We'll get to yeah, that, that's the topic, man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the 199, bro. Uh, yeah, that's something to talk about. But um, yeah, so um, there you everybody. Like, so now, I mean, you ain't really saying what you felt about about the whole week or the event or, or, or whatever. I mean, I mean, any anything is better than nothing. And so far, we really... You haven't gotten much um so i'm hoping like in the back of my head i'm hoping like yeah we haven't really seen nothing because xbox hijacked all that shit so they're gonna put on their show like hopefully wishing that all the shit that we didn't see that we normally see at e3 is gonna be on xbox stage because you know they they requested their services to be on you know their stage basically but um i, don't, I mean yeah i mean uh i hope there's just enough content to for a week because typically when they say, oh, we're going to be doing this all week, we show like one game a day. Like, I don't, I don't want to have <laughs> or, this, or this, or this, or this, or uh, this um, news is, is this day's thing. Like, I don't, I don't want, I don't want it to be like that. I want to actually have like, uh, like some kind of interactiveness to it. Like, like I said before, like um, the X, not the Xbox, the, the Apple show, WWDC, it was very like well polished uh, digital show. I want Xbox to put that kind of polish on their show. Um, so you know, uh, I guess we'll, we'll I guess we'll see. You know, yeah, yeah. And then I just want to comment to uh, sorry, I'm truthful in the chat. Talking about people will upgrade regardless. The hardcore will upgrade regardless. The casuals yeah. won't. Yeah, they have yeah. to give the casuals a reason to upgrade mm -hmm. because the the hardcore. Let's be honest, hardcore is a minority in gaming. Yeah, um, that that hundred and ten million that PlayStation have sold, those are not hardcore gamers. They're going to mm -hmm. have to have a reason to go to the next PlayStation. Same with Xbox. Not all the players who bought an Xbox are hardcore players. Some of them are casuals. Yeah, you have to, yeah, you have to give them a reason to want to upgrade. <laughs> and I'm, honestly, I think this is going to be a, a slower transition than than other other generations because. I think a lot of these third parties are going to stick with the fan bases, especially since they don't have to make a new engine because they're using x86. They said, oh, we can just scale it up for, for the next generation consoles. So, like, we're not going to see that mass migration because they're not going to stop making those games for years. They're going to say, there's 100 million people over here. They're still here. They haven't moved over yet. Okay, well, Call of Duty's still coming out here. Well, they're still going to come out over here. 
Well, of course, so there is a substance, of course, because like Resident Evil 8 I already said is going to be next gen only as well as Battlefield 6. So there's a substance. There, there's going to be those games that you say, you know what, let's just go all out and do next gen only for a few of the uh, third party titles. But of course, Activision or Ubisoft, they'll kind of, you know, like do the yeah. cross cross gen stuff for a while. But yeah, I see where you're coming from. Though. And, and what is this little pig man like with the eye patch? <laughs> yeah, that on. is I not me. Like, what the fuck is this? this pig man with the eye patch and shit. This, and is, then, this is Monster Boy. You, you, uh, oh, yeah, you, you get to you, change into different mo- di- for each level or for different levels. You have to change into different things to get through the level. Shit. Uh, we have Infinity Hand with the two dollars. Thank you, Infinity Hand. Daily reminder that Ratchet and Clank is thirty frames per second on PlayStation <laughs> Five. Infinity Hand, hey man, you That's need to be listening to WVG on Mondays, man. You perfect for the chat on WVG and, and this show, whatever, man. Thanks for the two dollars, but <laughs> yeah, that shit is uh, thirty frames per second. Hey, but one thing I've I've noticed already. Um, in the in like our DM, y'all, there are some guys saying, well, first of all, they're saying that there are going to be some third party games being shown off at the Xbox July event. And of course, you know, a certain guy he trolls and he's saying, That's a damn shame. Xbox doesn't have any games, so they're gonna show third party. I'm like, ain't this a bitch? Come on, <laughs> I mean, well, when you hear six, when you hear 60 games. If you think they're all 60 games first party, you you have lost yeah. your day of mind to begin with. Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I don't care how many studios they have. They better have 60 damn studios if every one of them going to be first party. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I, I will say this. I bet you there'll be more uh, first party than, than PlayStation. Because, right? mm. man, yo, they didn't show shit. <laughs> mm. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, man. So that's, you know. I think that's that's some interesting stuff, man. And uh, there's a lot more things I want to talk about as far as Xbox. So there is a rumor saying that the Xbox Series X was originally supposed to launch in August. And the Lockhart was supposed to launch in October. I told y'all, nigga. Yeah. I remember I that. Y'all. I remember I that rumor. Y'all don't want to hear me, but I told y'all, nigga. Yeah, that's what Sue was. Oh, shit. Mass, mass here, y'all. Oh shit! Hi, Mass. Hey, what up, man? Hello. How you doing? You. Yes. Killing yourself. What's up, Killing. Man? Killing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this, man. Uh, <laughs> Xbox is trash. Oh, oh, come on now. Come on. Now. I, I just want to start off the show right. I want to make sure everybody knows why? that Xbox hey, is listen. trash. Why is it always? Why is it always, why is it always? Why is it always the Xbox that comes so hard for no reason? <laughs> but um, but Mass, we have to, we also have to look over here at Moss always saying that Nintendo's oh. dog shit, but he's enjoying all these ports from the Switch. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, oh. shit. that's dirt. Look, <laughs> we we stopped listening to Moss when he was the only person out here scouting for Stadia. So like, oh, shit. As, oh. Soon as, <laughs> as soon as he put them pom poms on for Stadia, we stopped listening to Moss. Then that that hey, day. Yo. That's a game relevant. As, as long as Xavier Bay is right with me, I'm good to go, man. Oh, man. <laughs> that should let you know you're in the wrong game. That's, that's like having Parker as your backer. This oh, shit. Right. That's, an L. that's an L. That's an all around L. <laughs> oh, Funny shit, man. man. <laughs> yeah, so now, nah, Sue, I do remember you saying that, that you think it would be separated. I was thinking it would be like on the same day. But yeah, they said the rumor was the Series X was supposed to launch in August and the lockout in October. But of course, because of what we're going through with the pandemic, you know, shit changed, obviously. So do you think that would have worked though? Like dropping the Xbox Series X first? Microsoft should thank COVID for happening. Because that oh, would have been a dumbass decision. That would have been the true. stupidest decision in the world. That would have been the true. stupidest decision in the world. The reason why I'm gonna tell you why. Ain't right, nobody right. buying. A, a console in August. Nobody. Ain't nobody We're buying not. a console in August. News. Nobody buying a console in August. But, nobody, but Matt- because nobody, like, you go into these cycles, no matter how any of these companies, all these launch cycles for these new products have to come in one of two times because the US is the biggest throw money at the wall place on the planet. So, in order to Revolve around them buying your products 
because they can just throw money at everything for no reason. You have to do it around the holidays or around tax time. That's why you see all product launches come around the holidays or around tax time because mm -hmm. that's when you make your most revenue. That's when you go from the red to the black. So since all these companies know this, if you launch a, a brand new console in August, nobody's going to buy that shit. Because everybody is going is either they're going back to school, so they gotta get school supplies, they gotta get, you know, new shoes for their kids. They're not out here buying them a console. You got you got school in two days. I'm not trying to buy you a brand new console so you can not concentrate on this new school year you got coming up. That would be the dumbest shit in the world. And uh, super chats real quick with yeah. Geekhead 188 with the 499. Thank you for the four ninety nine. Also heard Halo Infinite will visually look as good or even better than Horizon Forbidden West, like I said last week. And then we have Geekhead with another uh, one ninety nine. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, who the fuck is this fuck nigga? <laughs> but the wait a minute, mass. Let's ask, let's let's ask this question now. What's up? Let's say they had decided to launch the Series X in March, like when Nintendo launched the Switch, mm -hmm. and then COVID happened and everything got sold the fuck out. Don't you think it would have sold Gangbusters then? No. The reason I say <laughs> no is because Xbox ain't got no games ready. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You <laughs> you, All right. The okay. So I'm ready, a, I'm a, hold I'm on. A counter hold on. This. Hold okay. on. Yeah. Hold on. So of, of all the studios they got, how many of them games is ready? Halo. How many of them games is ready in March? Oh. oh. All right. They had, had, had Minecraft Dungeons. <laughs> they had Minecraft. Had... No, because Minecraft Dungeons didn't come out until last fucking month. So they would have had Bleeding Edge. So they would have launched with Bleeding Edge. Ori. Now it would have been a W. Ori. No, but what I'm saying is if they had already <laughs> set it up to launch it, they would have already had some stuff ready. Yeah, they would have had the launch yeah. titles. Yeah, they would have had launch titles ready, but nobody anticipated COVID uh, and but all this shit. If, but if, that, say, if that was the truth, if that was the truth, and they was like now they were supposed to launch in August, none of them titles is ready now. No, I think Halo. No. If it was true that they would have had them launch titles ready, none of them titles are ready now, and they were supposed to launch in August. But hey, of the hey, hey, all listen, that shit be going gold right now. But listen, what you know what what would have been there is the is the console. I mean, the, uh, the game that had a console for it, the fucking Cyberpunk game, was supposed to launch. To me, in my opinion, I think it's supposed to launch side by side with the Series X. So That's why they you're relying back. on you're relying on a third party to sell your console. I mean, if that's, that's a your partner, that's the biggest game that's of the year. A, a lot of people, that's a good game. That's a, that's, that's a, a L. That's funny I mean, of course, that's Halo's gonna be there. I think I think Halo would still have been there. I think Halo's done. And then that's why we I'm have... so confident. Why do you think Halo? Hey, wasn't Halo having production problems like two months back when everybody left the fucking company? How is it done? It wasn't, it wasn't happening. I the uh, uh, can I grab this super chat real quick? Infinity hand with the two dollars. Thank you for the two dollars. Crackdown four. What's good with it, boy? <laughs> Y'all be mad at me. <laughs> hey, yo, masses, <laughs> masses, tie dye that X spot ass today. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, you know what? Hey, I, man, I, people I, gonna be mad at me for letting this thing on. Like, <laughs> wait, 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 <laughs> So for anybody that don't so anybody that don't know this FN, he he's he's the original member of the broadband bullies. He's been quiet lately for, for whatever reason, but he's definitely one of the one of the uh, panel members I enjoyed, you know, listening to the most because he he, he has a great uh way of arguing. He he he's a <laughs> To argue with you. He asked you a question and fuck your whole shit up. Yeah. So that's why I'm trying to, I'm trying to, be, care, I'm trying to be careful. I'm trying to be careful to not get caught in this web, web of deception. Yeah. <laughs> if, he yeah. you, if he asks you a question, you fuck. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then we have Infinity Hand with the $5. Thank you for the $5. Be honest. The Last of Us 2 and God of War 2018 are the last big AAA games Sony released in the past two and a half years. Let's not bull. Sony blew their load, guys. 
<laughs> Ghost of Tsushima come out in like three minutes. Like, what the hell? <laughs> then we have yeah. Vic Alistair with the $5. Thank you for the $5. If PlayStation 5 ran the un- Unreal Engine 5 demo at 1440p and 30 frames per second, at what resolution will the 4 teraflop Lockhart run? It seems like it will run it at 720p or lower. All right, so so back to what somebody said before, PlayStation 5 uh, uh, might hold a, a, a gaming behind because the actual CPU is not as good as the Lockhart CPU, supposedly, because Lockhart CPU is going to be using the same okay, CPU hold on, real quick, as the fucking Real quick, before, before, don't, don't, never go full Parker. I'm just, I'm going to just warn you before you <laughs> say some dumb oh, shit. Man. Don't, don't, don't make me be me. So don't do this. Listen, don't listen. This. Wait, don't okay, do but before, you, do before you start, before you start, <laughs> when it comes to low frame gaming, isn't the CPU more important than GPU? Sure, but you're not going to get low frame games. That's the whole point of Lockhart. That's a, that, that's low res. You just well, that's what, that's what I mean. You just that's, what, that's what I mean. That's, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Okay. So, yes, when it comes to low res gaming, the CPU is more important. Sure. But that all depends on design perspective. Because if I design a game where all the the load caches come from certain designators, so since it'll have an SSD, I can design the game so rather than me having the cache stuff from the RAM using the CPU as a buffer to bring it out, like I can use certain parts of the GPU speed because I can load all the assets faster. So yes and no. The the problem is right now in this space when you design a game, you have to design it to the lowest common denominator, which is a mechanical hard drive and lower spec RAM. So since you have to do both, then you end up with those development problems where you're trying to figure out how to make the game work to the specs. If I don't have to do that, then it doesn't matter. It won't matter as much. Mm. And it but- also depends on what these... Uh, devs are targeting and the way that that list was looking uh after that playstation conference it looked like they still targeting 30 fps yeah I don't, you yeah. know they they still they still telling you to kiss their ass holistically like they don't care that you you want better gaming like why why would you want better gameplay experiences we're we gonna give you this we're gonna give you 4k 4k at 30 again that's what's gonna happen you better pay 600 dollars for 4k at 30 <laughs> and then we have Infinity Hand with the five dollars. Thank you for the five dollars. Ghost looks like Sly Cooper, but with better graphics and lame ass hack and slash garbage. Infamous and Sly are far more worthy of new games. Okay. So I, thank you I'm for gonna, the five dollars, Infinity. I'm going to tell you something. I I said Ghost Tsushima because it's a triple A Sony game that's coming out. That's what you said. They they shot they load, but they they putting out another triple A Sony game, but. I'm like Ghost of Shima is a Assassin's Creed Lite to me. That's yeah. what it looked like in that gameplay demo. Like it looked yeah. like Assa- they took Assassin's Creed 2 yeah. yeah. and they put it in Japan where everybody was asking them to put it. Yeah. And like yeah. that that's all they did. They took Assassin's Creed and they put it where everybody been asking Assassin's Creed to put it in Japan. Yeah. I agree with you. Ed. It looked like Assassin's Creed Odyssey, kind of like you know, like the tank, like the same type of game style of game. Yeah, you right about that. I think it looked like the old ones because it like had all only? that. Yeah, the reason I say that is because it has all them counter mechanics. Okay, them insta kill counter mechanics, like the old Assassin's Creed games, like when he was fighting in that little camp or whatever, and everybody like he they would swing at him. He would do the insta kill counter, okay, and then do the insta kill counter to the next person. So that's yeah. why I said it looked like the older Assassin's Creed games. They took that formula and updated the engine a little bit to this one now. Mm. Of course. But as far as to as far as to this question, what do you think the the Unreal Engine demo would run on the, on the, on the Lockhart? 1080p 30. Yeah, I agree. Mm. Like y'all don't as a person who's made games before when. When they do these um, engine demos, they're going to crank up all the detail and make it hyper-reflexive, but none of that shit is indicative of what an actual game will look like because that game is or that, that demo is a small window. If I'm making a game, it has to be 40 hours. There's no way in fucking hell I'm going to 
execute that much minute shit mm. on that little section in order for it to you know shine just in that section. I have to make a whole game. Like or all these, every time an Unreal Engine demo comes out, them shits always look fire. Mm-hmm. Like go look at every single Unreal Engine yeah, demo we never that get them ever now. come out. We them never shits get them. always look flame. <laughs> but the games don't the games that come out on them Unreal Engines don't always look like that shit. They're gonna put out their best foot. But when you go to make a, a game demo on run on Lockhart, it would have just it would have looked this or it would have ran at 1080p at 30 FPS and it would have just dial back some details so when he was when she was walking through the little thing that everybody was saying it was a cutscene and all that shit or a loading screen it would have just been less creatures on the wall or less shadows like that's the shit that gets dropped in those cases you don't like have to drop the resolution you just drop detail yeah yeah okay. and you saw you saw it kind of when um digital foundry ran down the last of us too the game still What? And he yep. moofied oh, out. You lost him. You lost you, Sue. Are you you moofied out. Are you talking through your stadia? Oh, come on. Come on. Stop <laughs> it. Stop <laughs> it. Stop <laughs> it. <bro. laughs> All right. Y'all just keep on talking about uh, some more Xbox shit. Trash? I mean, go ahead. Hey, yeah. man, What's some respect, man. <laughs> uh, so they said that there's a talk that the initiative will unveil their new game at this Xbox July event. They better. Oh, there are some rumors that it's you know perfect dark and things like that. But what do you guys think about this? What? Oh, I right, right, let me ask you guys this: What do they have to show to impress you guys? Is it graphics? Is it gameplay? Is it all of the above? A new IP or is perfect dark? Oh, I, want, I want to answer that one. I want to answer yeah. that one. Okay, Moss. What do the initiative have to show to blow you away? The biggest problem that we had with Phil and his games this generation is that it, Xbox has been a story of two studios. Now, Mass is with me as far as, look, PlayStation ain't even my favorite games. I like God of War, and I'm enjoying Last of Us 2. I'm don't. I'm not even a fan of the entire lineup. But when, when, Yosh, when uh, Yoshida went back to the studios and said, this ain't good enough, show me that you can do better, we got God of War. When Phil went back to the studios and said, I don't like this. Y'all can do better. Show me something else. We got Crackdown 3. And believe what, I need, to see, hey, hey, what Moss, I need to hey, see Moss, Moss. is that... Hey, hold on, let me finish, let me finish my point. This ain't, no, no, no. This ain't, this ain't We Bleed Green, motherfucker. This ain't We Bleed Green. <laughs> Here, what I need to see is that under the helm of Phil, that these lame titles that come to the cream of the crop for Xbox ain't all we going to see. I know they talk about we snag this talent and snag that talent. But when I see Phil go into the studio and say, look, y'all got to put, you know, this got to be the, the best of the best that we truly do get the best of the best. You know what I'm saying? And once we see that, then that'll make me hopeful for the future of Xbox. Because when people say, see a thief sold 55 billion, it don't matter. I didn't come to Xbox for fucking see a thief. I don't care about it. That game is lame. I don't care. It's for lames. I want to see oh, the horrible man, shit now. that brought me. I don't want to see the vegan patties. Nigga, I want the steak. When I see the steak back on the, uh, back in aisle nine, then I'll be happy. So that's what we got to see, as far as I'm concerned. All right, we got a super chat with uh. Yep. You got it. Static Fox, thank you for the five dollars. Static, do y'all think Xbox will ever make another Game of the Year game anytime soon? Sure, Absolutely. in a couple of years. <laughs> uh, well, hold on. What? Halo Infinite oh, might be a game of the year. No, no, won't. no, won't. <laughs> Hell, <laughs> Blade two. I'm, I'm a Hell Blade two. Hellblade. You might, you might have a thing with Hellblade. I, I will actually give you that. You might have a thing with Hellblade. If if Hellblade fixes the fact that the combat was trash, then yes, you you could have a game of the year contender with Hellblade two. Just because the way they told the story. And the sound cues and the way that all of that was used in Hellblade One, mm-hmm. fantastic. And so, if Hellblade Two fixes the combat, yes, you have a possibility. Halo ain't it? No matter how much they try to put lipstick on his pig, it's Halo, okay. and so- it's 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 old. Like 
we got like in order for God of War to get back to the point where people gave a damn about it, yeah, they yeah. had to change. They had to reboot the motherfucker. Right? They had to change Halo it completely. Is Halo thing. is not going to do that. Halo is going to be Halo when that shit comes out. So, like, you don't God think of War was a new game. Okay, quote unquote. It was it was a new way of doing God of War. Halo is just going to come out and be Halo, and no matter how much they how big Halo is, like I don't like Halo. But I will give Halo credit for being Halo. Yeah, how are you buy ever Xbox about, for Halo? How are you ever about? You hate Gears and you hate Halo. I do. Man. I hate Gears. <laughs> I hate Halo. Um, <laughs> Uncharted ain't great. Last of Us One wasn't great. Like, I don't give. I, I personally don't give a damn what nobody else likes because. So, what's, so what's, that's why so everybody keeps trying to tell me like this game is great or this review score says it's great. I don't give a fuck. None of them people. What they eat don't make me shit. So I don't care if you like a game. If I don't like it, I don't like it. So Halo to me ain't great. Gears to me ain't great. Hey, hey mom, And then uh, um, let me get this super chat real quick. We have the Infinity Hand with the $2. Thank you for the $2. Doom is 27 years old. Halo is 19 years old, bro. That is, that is a true statement. But if you look at Doom 1 and the last Doom, do they look the same? Yeah. Yeah. Doom 2016. <laughs> so hold on, but man, I'm just man, saying, man, like, if you, he said Doom is 20 years old. That is a true statement. But the oh, Doom oh, that came out and the Doom that's out now, they don't look the same. Right. But if you go and play Halo 1, because you can do that shit right now on Xbox One, if you go and play Halo and then <laughs> look at the latest Halo, mm, them shit kind of look the same. This is just kind of look the same. This is the first person shooter? That's what you're saying? I'm just because saying. the first person shooter? Okay. No. Okay, I'm saying look, that them shits kind of look the same. Okay, if you go up, if you go to and play the Master Chief Collection right now, and yeah. you can, oh, so the, so the, the anniversary point. edition, right? So if you go play uh, the uh, Master Chief Collection right now, them shits look the same. They play the same. Okay, so the same thing so, in Call of Duty, then, right? So you go play Call of Duty uh, two. So you said so outside of, outside of where they were trying to be Titanfall, all <laughs> Call of Duties play the same. So you said first person shooters all, all play the same? No, I said all Call of Duty play the same. He just gave an example of Doom. He said play the same. Yeah, he said Doom. He said Doom is a first person shooter. Doom. But you he said Doom been around for twenty years. Halo Doom. been around for nineteen. Oh, you can't I'm just saying the first Doom, Doom doesn't look like the Doom now. The, the first what, Halo, what, what, which you can play on Xbox, looks like Halo Five. You can't compare Doom One from the damn nineties that looked like like eight bit and the first fucking shooter as Doom. <laughs> Why I compared God of War to this last God of War? God of War like released mm-hmm. on the PS2. The shit look good. You can't compare Doom one to Doom. <laughs> if you that got if I compare the first God of it War, good for to the God of War twenty eighteen, them shits look. But what's the, them shits are comparable? The no, but, but I made that comparison. But was the base of the game changed? It's, it was still a first person shooter. Uh, and then we have another super chat rice eater with the set with uh rice eater 79 with the two dollars. Thank you for the two dollars. DRM, what you think about Witcher and Cyberpunk footage? Um I I fucked with Cyberpunk. Um yeah. so I, I, like CD Project Red is one of my favorite devs. Mm-hmm. I I one thousand percent, a thousand percent feel like this game is gonna come out and it's gonna have some some bugs. Yeah, a yeah, thousand yeah, yeah. percent of that. So but they'll fix it real quick, and then <laughs> I feel like they're gonna put out some fire ass DLC that'll be as long as the normal game, like you know, CD Project Red does. Right. Yeah. Like yeah. They, they they will fix it. They will a thousand percent fix it, and then they gonna put out some fire ass DLC that's gonna be twenty bucks, and that shit is gonna be like forty hours worth of DLC. Right. Um, so and then. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead. We also have Victor Alliston with the two dollars. Question: Will it hold back and make X a re- res box? And then we have another super chat from Infinity Hand with the two dollars. Doom twenty sixteen equals shoot and punch. Doom nineteen ninety three equals shoot and punch. Mm. Yeah. That that is a true statement. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go back to this original point, right, Mass? You saying Halo Infinite? You don't think it will get a nominee for Game of the Year? Now it depends on when it. I think it'll get a nominee for Shooter of the Year. Hmm. I don't think it'll get a nominee for Game of the Year. No. 
Okay. Well, I, I guess we'll see. Well, it, it depends on what time it released for this year, anyway. Uh, but you know, if it comes out because both games or both systems supposed to come out right around November, right? Yeah. So, that might be too late. Now. <laughs> I don't know. Jeff Keighley makes he makes the rules for his he, he for the back. Like, he like make, he, he makes the rules for his Keighley, so I don't know. Like last time he he. Relax the rules so he get Death Stranding in. So who the fuck knows? Yeah, he did. <laughs> so who the fuck knows? He yeah, makes the rules, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah but... he cut out Jedi, uh, Jedi Fallen Fallen Order, Order, and they yeah. cut out Need for Speed as well. Yeah, so I, I don't know. He makes the rules, so who who, who the hell knows? Um, oh, as far as the question about... Because uh, I'm assuming you're asking about Lockhart. Will Lockhart make the X or Res box? Um, yeah. mm, no. I'll say I'll say no, just because there are certain um, there are benefits to having a better GPU that won't just make it about resolution. I guess it's the best way to say that. All right. Mm-hmm. Hey, so this nigga Rice just said that uh, like the best multiplayer game. I mean, like multiplayer games is on PlayStation. Okay, if you say so, bro. Huh? What PlayStation multiplayer Ooh. game? He Ooh. said the best multiplayer games on PlayStation. Are you, are you <laughs> everywhere. Hold on. Hold on. They're everywhere. Hold on. Hold on. Now, now <laughs> I know that I have been talking shit about Xbox this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> but let's, let's, let's make this abundantly clear. PlayStation don't make multiplayer games. They Just because they have shit with multiplayer in it don't mean it's a multiplayer <laughs> game. Like there's a difference between making a multiplayer focused game and some shit that got multiplayer in it. PlayStation makes games that got multiplayer in it. Those two aren't <laughs> the same. Just you know, just just an example. An example. Last of Us One had multiplayer. Last mm-hmm. of Us Two don't got multiplayer. I'm just saying some shit don't add up. I could be wrong, <laughs> but one plus one ain't equal in two right now. Just, just, just putting this out there. Hey, let's let's talk about their last what four big their last four or five big first party triple A games. Let's let's include Ghost of Tsushima because it comes out in a couple weeks. No multiplayer. Last of Us Two, no multiplayer. Let's go back to last year. Death Stranding, no multiplayer. Days Gone, no multiplayer. Uh, Spider Man. Spider Man, no multiplayer. Uh, uh, God of War. God of War, no multiplayer. Detroit Become You. Shut the hell up. Right here. <laughs> you, you make yourself look foolish. <laughs> no, no, I, I just want to make sure y'all know all, all my ponies now, they do in the chat. I want to make sure all my ponies in the chat know. Don't think that I'm on your side. That is a bad <laughs> <laughs> yeah. don't, don't, don't assume that I'm on your side. Hey, that's, hey, a look, bad, that's a bad decision. Hey, see, that's the thing about math. People think he's, you know, because he was like, Xbox is trash, so they think he's a pony. But y'all have no idea. Xbox <laughs> <laughs> is definitely I, I, not a pony. Right. I destroy everybody. It's equal. I'm, I'm an equal opportunity ass kicker. It is my <laughs> it's my duty. It's what I do. It's my yeah. default setting. It's how I wake up in the morning like, ooh, I'm going to be somebody ass today. It's, it's, <laughs> and it's then we, have, we also have Geek Cat 188 with the 199. Thank you, Geek Cat. Rice is a cap in FN. ain't pop up for me. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, man. I don't know what. Yeah, yeah. So listen, I understand you are a uh, PlayStation fan, right, Cedar, and that's fine. I'm an Xbox guy, but you won't catch me up here saying the Xbox has the best single player games because that'd be a damn lie, right? <laughs> <laughs> that'd be a lie. So you can say PlayStation has the best single player games. Yeah, you can say that, but you can't see a player say they got the the best multiplayer games, bro. Nah, they don't even have any cookie multiplayer games. <laughs> Come on. Um, Rice Cedar 79 with the two dollars. PlayStation having more multiplayer games of fact. Name your great multiplayer. Wait, hold on. Predator you said, so you... Grounds. This motherfucker must be deaf, bro. Oh, uh, I'm just asking, I just want to know, Rice Cedar. You you keep saying that PlayStation has the most multiplayer games. PlayStation has the most games, period. So that by default, that is a true statement. 
Do you but mean as far as just game? We we like, we were talking about best, but <laughs> e- and even we're talking about just the ones that PlayStation makes, because the ones that PlayStation makes are single player. They don't make multiplayer games. We wanna we, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go uh, back infamous. to uh when uh was named Sean Layden was in charge and he was like, We're gonna partner with our third parties to make more multiplayer focused experiences. I remember because that. they don't make multiplayer games. That's what they he don't. said. So they the don't. dude who was in charge of PlayStation says they don't make multiplayer games. How you <laughs> just, <the> YouTube commenter <laughs> Saying they do is different. <laughs> I'm very lost. Oh. Hey, and I remember that video. Go ahead. So I'm so uh, we have Infinity Hand with the five dollars. Thank you for the five dollars. Halo Two story did The Last of Us Two's narrative better. Chief over Ellie and Arbitrator way over Abby. Uh, <laughs> all right, I see what you did, Infinity Hand. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the five dollars, bro. I see her with seventy nine with the two dollars. Name your must have triple A multiplayer games, and then it's like, oops. Thank you, Grammar. I see for the two dollars. <laughs> see <laughs> Hey, uh, hey, listen, you can hate see it. I'm not a fan, but that shit is doing extremely well on Steam. Facts. It's doing extremely and well. The Hatton Boys, and that's a fact. Hey, I'm just saying, yeah, I, still I, trash, I, but I, I, I will also admit, like, facts are facts, like, people still playing that trash. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not a fan of Master but, Chief Collection. Master Chief Collection is still doing the stream as oh, well yeah. on Steam. Shit, like, go, if you go to if you go to Z channel right now, he's been playing you know, the gears since, since, since the tournament. People still right. playing this shit. like Z and them doing the gears thing, gears fire thing yeah. right now. Hey, right, people playing, people still playing gears, like, people, people playing Sea of Trash. Uh, trash at uh, so, it's so garbage. It's so garbage. Anyway, or are you like, trash at the like game? people play people. No, it's it's a trash game. People playing uh, Minecraft Dungeons. No, like, trash people game. are playing Xbox Minecraft is dope. Games. I like Minecraft Dungeons. People are playing Xbox games regardless about of forces. The forces. How much online? How much they don't sell? You know, like numbers wise, how much they don't sell? People are playing them because you know Game Pass is. You can get that shit for like a dollar. Nah, oh, here you go. You go pull that dog. Mm-hmm. Nigga. But what? I, I have Game Pass. Long time ago. I have Game Pass till twenty twenty four. That was a small fuck. window. <laughs> that was a small window of people that got the opportunity. I don't give a damn. I got Game Pass till twenty twenty four, and I'm gonna <laughs> use that shit every single Xbox game Me that too. come out. And you I, like, I, That's I, I, I don't know about. I don't. I don't know about all these other people who be like, "Oh, they put it on Game Pass." That means it's, I don't give a fuck. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Hey, y'all, let me I, y'all I got right a. Quick. I got a game. That's what that means to me. Yeah, I'm a right consumer. Quick. I don't give a damn how my, Microsoft decide they want to make their money. Yeah. <laughs> if I, if I find a game me. that's good, I don't give a damn. Let me show this right quick. Now, Andrew Wilkins is a pony. Look at his list of the oh, PlayStation. Oh, no, oh, shit, come on, not like this. That that shit should be L comma L L L <laughs> comma K- L L. Kills all came out of 2013. The Last of Us one came out of 2013. Uncharted, which one? Uh, four 2016. MLB, that's the sports game. All of those games have Daniel. multiplayer. GT Sports, a racing game. Come on, bro. When did that, and when did that come out? Listen, y'all have the best single player Wait, games. Did they that. Cut the servers off for GT anyway? No, that was the, I think PS3 ones. Again, I s- <laughs> remember when I said PlayStation makes games that got multiplayer in it. They don't make <laughs> games that are multiplayer focused. Listen, Those MLB, are my words. MLB so that, the multiplayer. that that list proves my point. <laughs> Let me just did more harm. I appreciate that. it. the <laughs> point. <laughs> Kingdom did more harm than good. The he fact that he put I, Killzone in that list is oh, such a sad. PlayStation had he said so, he said said so calm. He said so calm. So calm. <laughs> hey. and, then, and then we have Infinity Hand with the two dollars. Thank you for the two dollars. What y'all think of Killzone and Infamous? The last good Killzone game was Killzone Two. I fucked with Infamous. Uh, the last one was kind of weak though. Yeah, I like Infamous. Uh, well, the last one. I actually liked the last one. Uh, it was I didn't like this. I didn't like Delson. I I, I just didn't. Like, I like First Light better than I like the. Infamous. Yeah, I, yeah, I like First Light <laughs> better too. Yeah, mm. I don't know, the first couple Killzone games were pretty good. After that, hey, it was kind of on the two was good. 
Two was good. I don't know what the hell happened after, like before and after that. I don't know what the fuck happened. Two yeah. was good. Yeah, and then we have digital, good. and then we have digital swords with the one ninety nine. Thank you for the one ninety nine. Hit the like button. That's right, right. digital swords. Hit that like button. Right. Hey, Rain G four Drive Club was so good they shut down the studio, bro. Oh shit. <laughs> Sex. Damn, yo, the fact the fact that y'all putting these out your ass, man, y'all must not really know what what what, what third person uh triple uh, multiplayer games is because that's that's some dog shit. Like the shit y'all trying to pull off is some dog shit. Yeah, and then we have right about all the Xbox games y'all want. No multiplayer is fucking with the shit on the Xbox side. Is when Xbox not fucking with single player shit. Niggas have their niches. Yeah. And then we have Rice Eater seventy nine with the two dollars. GT has more multiplayer, multiplayers than any Forza that all you got. Okay. So multiplayer it, players. It thank you for your side money. Side. I guess <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. That's one of the stupidest comments I ever read. Okay, uh, Rice Eater. Yeah. Thank you, Rice Eater, for the two dollars. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, I, hey, brother. I, I hear you, man. I hear you. I, he is, I, you know, keep keep arguing with us in the super chat. We appreciate you. <laughs> yeah, yep. Yep, exactly. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, hey, but speaking of, uh, no, no, I'm trying to pull this up on Twitter before I, because um, people might accuse me of lying about this shit. Let me try to pull this up, y'all. Give me a second. Uh, <laughs> Uh, well, I'm sure people seen it earlier. Well, anyway, but, yeah, let me share my screen. So, mm -hmm. PlayStation, you know, you know, it's the start of a new generation. Why am I saying that? Because Sony is putting their focus on indies. PlayStation oh, indies. <laughs> well, Shuhei, put, didn't Shuhei go back to head yeah. the indie studio? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's in charge now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They say we need you to guide us. <laughs> now, I have a pretty decent memory, and I vividly remember the beginning of the generation with PlayStation. You know, they got out to a slow start as far as you know, big AAA games. And remember, when people was calling them the Indie Station Four because they was focusing on indies. Mm -hmm. uh, do you guys think that's gonna be the case again? I mean, they're gonna have yeah. more games. They're gonna have Spider Man. <laughs> okay, so Gun Two. This is how this is how all these cycles work. Hey, uh, Xbox at the beginning of the generation, they shoot they load, mm -hmm. and then PlayStation at the end of the generation, they shoot they load. Right. Like they at the beginning of the generation, they fill it with indies and smaller titles, and then they drop one or two bigger titles around those times. So, launch with something that everybody kind of wants, and then around um, April or March of next year, that's when I think Horizon Zero Dawn is going to come out. So mm -hmm. that'll be a big game in between all those indies. That's how they'll do that. They'll pepper them out until the end of the cycle when they start putting out a whole bunch of shit. Xbox puts all their stuff out at the beginning, first two or three years, and then fills the rest of it out with all the little shit. And then the next yeah. console cycle comes over and they do it again because that's how long it takes for them to develop the games. So that, I think that'll happen again. I don't think it's going to happen as, as much as because they have more studios yeah, to fill yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, they already were talking about uh -huh. putting, out, putting out a first party game every quarter. Only problem then, is only yeah. problem is that all them studios started making these games around the same goddamn time. Yeah. So just, unless they purposely start you know, delaying games, back games right, delaying yeah. games that are finished, mm -hmm. <laughs> that that's not going to happen. I see what you mean. Yeah. And then and we have Geekhead188 with the 499. Ponies really out here saying GT and Killzone better multiplayer games. Yeah, and yeah, then he's dying yeah. with laughter. <laughs> but yeah, I are. have a question for you guys. Mm -hmm. So, like, you guys know Nintendo just had the shareholders meeting where um, Full Cower was telling, was apologizing for this Joey Con drift. But he also said that Nintendo is. Um, about to change up how they they might get rid of their Nintendo Directs. Oh, really? Damn. Yeah, they might get rid of and and evolve them into something else. Do you guys think the reason of that? Because wasn't PlayStation saying they were going to do a, a Sony Indie Showcase show now? Yeah, that's um, what they did, did earlier today. 
So I'm wondering, do you guys think that they were saying that Nintendo's changing their format because everybody is taking their format of their directs and their yeah, they gotta be showcase, yeah, they gotta be and so now they're going to evolve it into something different? Yeah, probably. Yeah, because PlayStation we, that stole stole that shit. That state of play is a direct ripoff. Well, like Nintendo Directs. <laughs> um, and then we have Race Eater with the two dollars. Thank y'all. Forza, y'all only triple A multiplayer game the entire generation. Deal with it. Hey, right, right. Right. let me say this, y'all, for y'all's <laughs> place. Hey, hey yo, Rice, <laughs> let me say something, brother. I love your passion. You're a PlayStation fan. Listen, I love it. I love it. You bleed blue. But after the same time, man, the money. you gotta be real, bro. Like <laughs> Like I just said, I can't sit up here and say Xbox has the best single player game since generation. That's a damn lie. You cannot sit up here and say Forza is the only triple A <laughs> game the Xbox has had this generation. Man, what that come on, right? See, come on, stop and, it. Unless he's stop. paying, he can say all the dumb shit he wants. He can say whatever he wants. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> keep arguing with us. Look, right either you are wrong, motherfucker. Tell me how how you're not. Tell me how you're not. <laughs> Convince me. <laughs> Convince me you not. <laughs> <It's pretty here. laughs> Convince me you not. It's nobody, baby. You proved me wrong. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> oh, okay. Infinity hand with the two dollars. Xbox biggest sin generation. No sunset overdrive two. Xbox you know, biggest in this generation is no sequels to none of the shit that they put out. <laughs> <laughs> the hey, we got Ori two. We got Ori two. I would have preferred a rise over Sunset Overdrive too, but that's just me. Uh, 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 like a rise too. I would have preferred that over Sunset Overdrive. That's Crytek. That's on Crytek. But, but even, but even, but even, either way it goes, you'd prefer a sequel to something. Yeah, like yeah, they, yeah. I, I will give Xbox credit. They tried with Rise. They, they did, did try. They tried to buy the IP, and they were like, "We'll buy the IP, and you can make the game." And Crytek was like, "Nah, yeah, we don't keep the IP." But they wasn't paying nobody at the same You're time. Right. Like they wasn't hey. paying their employees and they wouldn't sell the IP, which didn't make no sense. Hey man, was, I remember hearing broke. that story early in the gen, like like Xbox yeah. trying to well, buy I, the IP. I remember hearing that. Yeah. So I, I I'll give Xbox credit with Rise. Sunset Overdrive, they was like, fuck it. Like <laughs> that Sunset shit's... Overdrive and Somnic was like, it's up to Xbox. If they pay us, we got you. Xbox Whoa. was like, fuck that game. Xbox was like, nah, <laughs> we good, fam. <laughs> Like and then Sony was like, "Yo, we gonna snatch up this studio and right. y'all IP. We cool, right? All right, cool. Thanks, appreciate you." So and that's the overdrive too is happening. I guarantee that shit's coming out. I guarantee. Yeah, it. maybe so, Sony just want to be like, "Fuck you, Xbox." I, nah, yeah. nah, they're gonna, probably, they're gonna probably do like what Nintendo did with Bayonetta, put part two and make it an exclusive. They put Bayonetta yeah. part two on the Nintendo stuff and made an exclusive. Only thing that uh, Sony gonna do is make Sunset Overdrive and make it exclusive yeah, to sure. um PlayStation. I wouldn't even give a shit. I wasn't that crazy about Sunset Overdrive to be honest with you though. So, oh, let like me grab that. the super chat real quick. Infinity hand with the two dollars. Sony blows dead dogs in multiplayer games. Thank you, <laughs> Infinity, for the two dollars. It's, it's, it's super facts. That's super facts. But I think that um they're gonna start like uh like hitting shit in increments. Like they'll they'll start putting out um you know Sunset Overdrive 2 and all those games, but then they're gonna they're gonna keep testing this PC market. So what's call it just came out death stranding right death stranding about to come out and then they're gonna have horizons gonna come out and they're gonna see if those shits hit i expect a whole bunch of more of these playstation games that are you know right now only on playstation to migrate their ass over because mm -hmm. if like you no know, regardless of how much everybody keeps trying to say this shit like the new sony boss the new people in charge of sony <laughs> Ain't the same people that was in charge of Sony before. The they give like a damn about. Like they give them. Moss, you. I mean, uh, Mass, you moofied out. Oh man! Oh yeah! I thought someone was doing my shit. Yeah. Damn! Okay, <laughs> man. Expand, expanding oh. the market and much. Sorry. Wait, yeah, bro, wait, so you, you, you got popped off. I need to go AFK oh. for a moment, guys. I'll be right back. All right. Yeah. yeah. So I think I think Sony is about to um. They bought to test this PC market, see what works, and then start throwing more shit at it if it works. Ah, absolutely. And you see PC, man, look. Like we see the whole thing we just show, uh, like we're talking about with Sea of Thieves and Master Chief Collection. 
Hey man, why not put your games on PC, man? I mean, I, I, I'm just being honest about it. Why not put the shit on PC? Hey, yeah, li yeah, listen, put it on PC because that way I don't have to buy a PlayStation Five. Like y'all always tell me about Xbox. <laughs> right, I don't have to buy the PlayStation PlayStation Five to play that game. Yeah, that's real. And shout out yeah. to Moss, he helped me build my PC. You know, uh, are you are you, are you pretend PC owners? I can kiss my ass. I just want, <laughs> I just want y'all to know. Oh y'all, I got a, I got a PC. But then when the multiplat comes out, I got this on PlayStation. Why you got a PC? I, don't, I thought you had a PC. Like why? Why did you get it on play? Well, I want to use my controller, so you, you don't can. have a PC. That's what you're telling me. <laughs> you're making all that money for nothing. Huh? Right? Like, no, no, no use a controller. I can saying. use any controller I want on PC. So nice. if you want to use your controller, if that's your excuse, then you just make shit up. You don't have a PC. It's okay. <laughs> you got a laptop, fuck nigga. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, let's move on. Hey, um, Same. so in the UK, now this is just the UK. The Last of Us Two sales drop eighty percent. Jesus! Now that's that's a lot. Eighty percent on tablets. <laughs> <laughs> what do y'all think about that? Is that me or is that a big ass drop for a game of uh, like like a game that big? That's so I mean, that there, there are other games that have done it, but it's it's rare. Um, and those right, games, it's big though. Yeah, because what was Last of Us? Last I minute, mean, Last of Us. Um, Death Stranding. Death Stranding was like seventy something. It wasn't eighty percent. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think what it is is that I mean, you can't. I don't think that's a good enough litmus to tell what's going on. Right. We don't have Call of Duties that were selling phenomenal that had big drops. It could just be indicative of. Everybody that was going to get that game was going to get it day one. You know what I'm saying? Right. They want more. Yeah. They they made up their minds already. So you know, after you sell four million copies, I, like, yeah, <laughs> like it's just like opening weekend of the Avengers. That yeah. shit gonna be like you know five hundred million dollars, and then mm -hmm. you know the next week gonna be, be like 120, 180. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's a big yeah. drop, but it's sure, but it's still a whole shit ton of money. But here's the thing. Is it going to be something like um, Suicide Squad, where people went and saw it and they didn't like it, and therefore it, it dropped so much, but still no. sold well technically? Like I don't no. know. No, because um, like the problem. The, here's the thing about The Last of Us, right? If you say anything bad about The Last of Us, you didn't play it. That's mm -hmm. that's Pony's go-to excuse is that you didn't <laughs> play it. Not mm -hmm. that you have an opinion. Not, <laughs> not that you just, you know you didn't kiss Naughty Dog's ass. Is that you didn't play it. So since they are so fervently defending it, and every time any news come about it, a, a sales milestone or um, you know somebody makes a montage or some shit, and every pony under the sun is sniffing their balls, after, every <laughs> time that happens, it's, it's never going to go away. So regardless of how many people speak against it, it's not going to change the tide. Yeah, I don't think I don't think the game is a bad game. I just think that you know, people people it's very divisive. I'll put it to you that way. It's divisive. Either you loved it or you hated it. Well, I won't say either you love it or hate it, but there are people that love it and hate it. So if you can have both of those opinions in one game, then you that's polarizing. Hey, hey, yo, right here. I'm back, guys. What are you talking about now? Hold on, let me say this. Right mm -hmm. here. My name is Dirt Griggity seventy six. Look my shit up. I beat that shit. <laughs> don't don't you dare say that shit to me. I finished that shit actually on Sunday. I beat it on the Sunday after the game came out. It came out Friday. I finished it Sunday. You know why? Because I wanted to finish it and give my honest opinion about it. Because like Matt said, most of y'all would say you didn't play it. And first off, I thought the game was pretty good, but there's some things in the story I didn't care for. I didn't like some of the decisions about the in the story. That's all. The game was great, you know, as far as the graphics. The uh, the story wasn't bad. It was just some things they did I didn't care for. Uh, I gave it an eight out of ten. But yeah, yeah, I think like I think the way they did this story, it was more about the world of The Last of Us rather than the characters of The Last of Us. Is it, I guess the best way to put it because they want to try to build the world so they can make spinoffs and shit mm. mm -hmm. that's what i feel like is happening like yeah. they're gonna make it they're gonna make a number three but i feel no, like they're, they're just gonna deal with abby in the third right one. yeah i think they're just trying to build more characters so they can i make think, I think they, they, they pulled a, they pulled a walking dead 
with like, oh, you have this group and you have this group and you have this faction and they're trying to fight each other, but fuck the zombies. It's like, <laughs> like they, they kind of, and that's kind of what to me led Walking Dead to fall off when they stopped focusing on the zombies or, you know, some kind of overarching goal. And, and this game doesn't have an overarching anything besides revenge, which I get, but you can have both. You can have this overarching thing that gets uh, derailed by trying to get revenge. Like, you know, what about the cure? Like, Abby, I mean, uh, Ellie is still the cure. Like, if I'm Abby, you no, know, my father was his doctor, and I knew that Ellie was the cure that he worked his whole life to get, you know, I'd kidnapped her instead of trying to kill her. Or, or let her go. Whatever the case is. That's why I like, said I, I think they try to work on the, the, the world of The Last of Us rather than the story. Like, The Last yeah. of Us won for as much as the AI and the gameplay was dog shit, the story... <laughs> Was, was so great, decent, right? The story was decent. You, I cared about the characters, mm-hmm. like yeah. I, it so far because I, I haven't finished yet. I, I'll finish it this weekend, but so far, I I didn't like Abby. Now I'm starting to like Abby. Abby's all right, Abby, mm-hmm. you know. I fucked with her. I, 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 I was not a fan, and now I'm all right. Now that's but, like Z, he said, Team Abby, <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> I like you know, yeah, I liked her, right, yeah. right? At the end, like so far, I'm, I'm like, all right, I, I, I wanted to punch you in your throat. But I understand now. So at the end of this, I'll, I'll probably end up fucking with her like that. We cool. Or but, even the order of shit, like how shit played out. I think they could have changed that around. Oh yeah, the pacing with the pacing so far is garbage. It's a trash, yeah. it's a trash sandwich. The pacing <laughs> so far is a trash sandwich. I don't know who the fuck like. I, I think they just flipped the coin and put shit together. Like I don't know who, <laughs> who decided what like the direction of this. It, it wasn't working. Niggas. It ain't working. <laughs> It ain't working. <laughs> that, that part I would want to say so far is an issue. Yeah, the pacing. <laughs> the pacing is weird. I don't. I don't get it. Like maybe I. Was, maybe I was just tripping. I'm like, like I think. Why, certain, where the hell are we? And why? Do, why are we here? Like, I, like I, I think a certain thing that happened in the game would have been more impactful if it happened at a later junction in the game because you would have been surprised by it. S- seven minutes. Basically. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Instead, as you, soon as you start imagine, this shit, imagine right. if you like. Imagine if you liked Abby before you hated her, rather than hate her first and then like her. <laughs> I'm just saying. The impact, right? <laughs> <laughs> I agree that the impact would have been better yeah. if it was later. I agree yeah, with that. Basically, uh, you're playing with a person you and, hate. For the and the way it was like done. It, it was yeah. absolutely horrible. That was the stupidest shit in the world. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> and, and I watched back the tapes. It was definitely not Tommy that did it. It was definitely it, Joe that did it. It was the dumbest shit it. in the world. It was he the dumbest shit in the world. It was the dumbest shit in the world. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all. Be real ambiguous without spoilers. <laughs> I yeah, I exactly I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> you said you said Joe didn't fit their agenda. And yeah, you know, I like I, I, I peeped that. They 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 basically killed off every or or or, or I won't say killed off because time's a lot. I mean, whatever. But every male is gone. <laughs> like, like every male, their agenda is kind of obvious. Even the one male that's a male is not really a male. It's a girl that wants to be a male. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, the dentist. Hey, man. Let me tell you something. Horizon Zero Dawn, <laughs> Bloodborne is the two PlayStation exclusives I didn't finish. Bloodborne was just too difficult. I ain't got time for that shit. Horizon Zero Dawn, I kind of lost interest in it. I'll be I honest. Understand that. I understand all of, that. All of the other big PlayStation exclusives, I finished. It's, except for Death Stranding. The, the dirt, you know, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Death Stranding. Horizon Zero Dawn get real boring after you hit the city. Yeah, yeah. And yeah after and, you hit the city, that shit get real boring. I love real this. Fast. I love it. Dirt dug it out for the, uh, for days gone. No, nah, I couldn't fuck with days gone. Listen, I beat all four Uncharted. I beat Spider Man, God of War, Detroit Become Human, Order eighteen eighty six. I beat. I, I I told you the games I didn't finish. Oh, you, you know what else I didn't finish? That Lost Legacy Uncharted shit. I didn't finish that, but I will go back and finish that one. Some people like that better. Yeah, but I finished every other. Big PlayStation exclusive, first party, I would say. So, all right, y'all, let's go ahead and talk about uh, what was that time I finished Days Gone? Also, do you give a shit? Um, no, there's a lot of topics for do you give a shit today. First off, I don't know, 45 minutes out, god damn, okay. No, nah, <laughs> I go the whole two hours a night, man. You know, what I'm oh, saying? Man. 
Hey, so first off, I want to ask Moss about this. Moss, mm-hmm. Tencent starts up a U.S. studio to make triple A games for next gen consoles. Uh-oh. Bro, is this big? And do you give a shit? Um, I mean, Tencent is trying to, you know, they're trying to make their footprint. They got the cash. They, you know, they they've been successful in Asia, so it's something definitely to look out for that might grow into something over the next three to five years, but. Is it going to grow to something right now? I mean, I don't know. We'll see. They might come out Did with their you own. Console see too. the um the trailer for the cyberpunkish game they're making? No, I didn't. Oh, they got a trailer for it. Uh, I, thought- I was watching um Young Ye. He was he was talking about it. He showed a trailer. Hmm. It's like some cyberpunk like game, but it kind of looked like a cell phone game to me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Oh, but they have they have bread, so yeah. they can acquire what they want. They can hire who they want. I don't know. Um, what what other big? I mean, I'm, they have their po- They have their, their 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 hands in a lot of people's pockets. But what do they what do they actually make? I don't know. Like they also know? have a deal. They also have a deal with Nintendo for selling the Switch in China. Well, they're huge over in Asia. That, that's yeah. Yeah. They, and then we have Rice Eater two dollars. Thank you, Ray Cedar, for the two dollars. Thoughts on the four teraflop, seven point five gigabyte memory based series Xbox? Uh, nothing's confirmed yet. Yeah, nothing's confirmed, but they, <laughs> you know, they say that CPU might be better though. Although yeah, a lot harder than it is better than the PS Five CPU. Well, yeah, like you said, nothing's confirmed. So, guess we'll talk about that when it is confirmed. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um. So next thing up, um, a Sobo confirms a Plague Tale Innocent has sold over one million copies. Now look, this is a game that I absolutely love. I bought it before it came in Game Pass. I bought it, finished it, thought it was a great game. One of my favorite games uh, of 2019, (coughs) excuse me, and uh, I know only 45 people made that game. It has sold over one million copies. So what do y'all think about that? It's a great game. Xbox and buy them. Yeah. Um, what I think about it is it's just proven right there that as long as you have a good game, it doesn't matter how big the damn studio is or how many people make the game. You oh, have to make something that games that gamers are interested in playing. Oh, and okay. evidently Plague's Tale made people interested in playing it, no matter how big the studio was. And look at bright memory. Like on the PC, that game. One person. Listen, <laughs> a play tale is a game that has a great story. Um, the graphics are pretty good. All those damn rats on the screen. That, that game was amazing. I enjoyed that game, man. It's still in Game Pass, I believe. If you haven't played that game, you yeah. should really give it a chance, man. Definitely a- play that game. I didn't know it was. I didn't know it was. Um, I didn't know it was like a little double A until like people were talking about it. I, like I saw it and I was like, okay, this, this, this little, this little big triple A game. I don't know the length of it, but by the looks of it, it definitely looked triple A. It's about. I'm it was, saying, was, no, no, I, no, 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 I, I said it at the time it came out, I didn't know. But like you know, but just looking at it, you wouldn't say this is an indie. Like this doesn't have that indie jank on it. Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> hey, uh, so like right, so the gameplay is uh stealth more like stealth. Puzzles, you know, there's some puzzles like as far as the rats, you know, because the rats don't like the light or fire. So there's puzzles where you have to somehow get some fire by the rats and shit like that, you know. So yeah, with his track guards and stuff. Yeah, there's not a lot of combat. You know, all you do is maybe you know, like you play like as a teenager girl, like a a teenage girl, and sometimes you play as the little brother. So yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good game. So I'm happy to see a game like that sell a million. <sighs> And it only has 45 uh, people made the game. So, yeah, that's a good thing. Though. Mm-hmm. All right, next up, uh, I know most people on the panel don't give a shit about this, except for maybe Tsunami. Oh, but shit. Ryan Williamson is the cover star for NBA 2K21. Only the next-gen version, though. <laughs> Damian Lillard is the cover star for the current-gen version. Well, about this, it's like, to the guy that's only second year in the league well, and only Play half of the season be on the cover. Well, here's here's the thing. Why like, not? Blake this, Griffin was on one. This this was this was leaked. So like everybody kind of knew that they said there's gonna be three cover athletes. 
one for the current gen. So I'm guessing a current player that's, you know, doing, you know, whatever. And then one for the next generation game. Uh, uh, so a next generation player. So I understand Zion being on a next generation. And then oh. there's a legend one that everybody suspects will be Kobe. That's right. going to be, you know, the legendary edition. So do I have a problem with him, with him being on a cover? No, because, it, I mean, I guess it's saying he's the next, you know, generation athlete. That's 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 cool. Yeah. Um, and 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 you know, I'm pretty sure. How how, how long has um uh, uh what's his name, uh, Patrick Mahomes been in the league? I mean, he's on Madden. When he was on Madden, he was in the yeah, second year. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And yeah, that's yeah, true. And then this year, fucking uh, uh um Lamar uh, Lamar Jackson. Yeah, he's, he's he's only been in the league three years. That's true. So like man. like these play these players are are getting young. Before you know, you would hold back a player, you know, groom them. But these players are coming in in the leagues, primed and ready to go. So if you have the eyes and attention and fan base for 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 those players, then you might as well put them on the cover. That's true, man. You make a good point. Hey, hey, Sue, man. Hey, me smiling at you look, man. That's a oh, good. Oh here you go. <laughs> right, I'm gonna be completely honest, Dirt. Uh, as far as the first two people you're talking about on the covers, I have no idea who those guys are. Oh, come yeah. on, don't say out loud. That's cool. I, I don't. I don't watch basketball like that. Okay. So. Yeah, I mean, well, that explains. You know, that explains why you don't. You know, you know. But yeah, I'm a big NBA guy. So yeah, it's cool, man. It's cool. I Zion's like the most famous player come out of high school since LeBron. Think about it. That's true. Since the. That's true. That's true. <laughs> since LeBron. Zion Williamson. Williamson. He's had a, he's had like a million followers since high school. Look here, no, yeah. he ain't played enough yeah. basketball. I don't give a fuck. I, like I don't know. I understand why he's the cover athlete because um he's popular, so they're gonna put him on the cover. But mm-hmm. like he ain't played enough basketball for like the for him, to, li- for him to matter. Him being on the cover, I don't give a fuck. Like, the NBA is literally <laughs> trying to make sure they get in the playoffs by making sure that uh, they they haven't they invited them even though they have a losing record. Or I don't, I don't know if it's losing, but they're not in the playoffs as of yet. But they invite them to a little, to you know, playoff they in the chase thing. Though. Yeah, they in the just so they can get a chance to get in the playoffs to play against LeBron or whoever. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. and they put they put them his like they when uh he was like on the bench, they would show him more than they would show Facts. the game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like he wasn't even playing; he was injured, and they were still yeah. showing. Zion out here, you know Zion's looking at the game. He, he looks like he, who gives he, a fuck? Good spirits. <laughs> like he, he looks to come back. Okay, well, can we see the vi- the game? Like we're trying to see the game. <laughs> we're not like, talking about practice. We're talking about the game. <laughs> sounds like Adrian Peterson. <laughs> nice. Yeah. It don't make no sense. That's like fine. so, I I I understand why they did it. Do I care? No. <laughs> the game's gonna still. Be I'm sense. gonna buy the they're Kobe gonna, edition. I feel like yeah, it's going on too long. Unless, unless you buy the physical edition, none of this matters because they have a cover update every couple months anyway. Yeah, and if and if this one, the only reason I only always buy the hundred dollar edition is because I don't buy no more VC. VC, I don't give, I'm, I'm right. So when you get the hundred dollar edition, you get the like hundred dollars worth of VC at the first time. Yeah, I just buy the hundred dollar edition, get it out of the way. Yep, grab my player out, call it right, a day. And, and, right, and call it a day. So I'm gonna buy the hundred dollar edition, which will probably be the Kobe edition. Um, and then I'm gonna call it a day. Like I'm, I don't give a fuck about Zion being on the cover. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's move on to the next one. Now, now this is the t- uh, topic I wanted to talk to Neff about, but since he's in, he's not here. We're going to go ahead and talk about it. <laughs> um, so, who the hell is this, and why is is that Spartan Lock helmet on his uh, arm? It looks like a grunt. Yeah, so like people on Twitter were saying, "Oh shit, that's Spartan like helmet." Uh, is it? I don't know, but it kind of looks like it. It could be. So people were saying, "Are they? It is uh, Spartan like dead? Like going into Halo Infinite? Is he like they killed the black guy? Is that what Probably. it is?" That, that's that's very possible. <laughs> <laughs> that's very possible. That's was very he possible. um was he in Halo Wars too? Nah, so. nah, nah. All right, so yeah, there's really no no telling then. Yeah, uh, so. That was what I wanted to talk to Neff about because that does look like his helmet. You know, here's what the thing. That's, that's thing. Huh? Now, yes, he he's the black guy, and that is that is true that they're gonna kill the black guy. I, I I fully believe that he's gonna die in the first fifteen minutes of the movie. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, like before the opening credits, but <laughs> yeah, they're gonna kill the black guy before the opening credits. But it's because he sucked as a character. Nobody liked him. Like nobody. <laughs> Nobody they wrote him him. bad as a character. They wrote him horribly. 
<laughs> like the the problem, and I was addressing this in the chat with someone who was arguing me about good stories and Xbox. Ha ha, that's funny. Um, so <laughs> Halo Five, they they when they built up Halo Five, it was supposed to be Mass Chief versus Lock, Mass mm-hmm. Chief versus Lock. That was a dope concept. When he's playing rolled. Halo he's Five, rolled. no. So they they fucked him up by not making him commit, <laughs> by by not making him like in order for him to be built up to be a character that could rival Master Chief and probably take the the mantle. He has to commit and like like Master Chief for as much as a lame and dull ass character that that nigga is. Oh, man. <laughs> He is he is lame. He is his name is John, and you never see his face. He does he has no emotions. He's a lame character, but he's iconic. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. He's iconic, but he's lame as character. So, at, for as much as you know, as lame as he is, he's very focused. He gets things done. Mm-hmm. Locke had one job, and in the middle of that job, he was like, "Yo, you want to be my homie?" <laughs> Like you, you want to ride shotgun home? We got. Hey yo, that sounds like the like, last one too right now. Like I'm just saying, like that. That's what happened, and the build up to the game was completely different. It was I'm gonna hunt you down, the, and we gonna we trigger. gonna fight you. We gonna fight it out. One of us ain't making it out of here alive. That's how they built up the game, and mm-hmm. then within the first like three hours of the game, y'all hugging. Mm-hmm. I don't you like. They like have a smack fight and then it's over. Right. And like, then we you have made it, you you should you, if you wanted to make him the character, you should have made him the character. Yeah. And then we have Victor Allenstein with the five dollars. Thank you for the five dollars, Victor. Won't the lock card make Series X a resolution box just like the one S made the one X a res a resolu- a resolution box and held it back from competing visually with the PS4? No, Xbox decisions held it no. back from competing visually with the PS4. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't got shit to do with the two boxes. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> like people making grounded, they didn't they ain't got shit to do with the, oh, <laughs> the Blackheart versus the series X. Oh. <laughs> I'm uh, uh, asking me you out of line for that comment. <laughs> I'm just saying <laughs> that ain't got they got a goddamn thing to do with the boxes. So, I'm giving so, credit to the boxes. <laughs> so here's here's the thing. The reason why they can't hold each other back is because when it comes to GPU, you can scale graphics. You can't scale gameplay. So as long as they have the same CPU, they can scale the graphics back as much as they need to, uh, as far as as far as how the game looks. But the CPU is what is, is what the game is based on. So when it comes to AI and when it comes to physics and all that stuff, that's CPU stuff. So yeah. as long as they have the same CPU stuff, they can scale any game to look as good or as bad as they need to for it to run on both. Hey man, that's like what Juby said. Uh... Juby Sensei said, no, it's the same CPU, RAM, configuration, and SSD. The only difference is resolution, pretty much. And uh, uh, no disk drive, because they said yeah. Lockhart will be a, a digital box. So, mm. Yep, so um, oh, here we get a couple more topics, then we out of this BS. Have you guys seen the uh, hashtag Fix Madden <laughs> shit going around Twitter, man? Yeah. Mm. Mad at Madden, man. No, nah, we'll they said that the franchise mode is exactly the same as previous years, and they put out some type of list saying what they're going to include with the franchise, and it looks like a patch, some patch notes. Like <laughs> they're not revamping anything; it's just patch notes. And people and like these guys are tired of Madden. Like me personally, big football it. fan, I just like the last couple of years I just didn't buy Madden because it's the same shit. People can say that about two K, but two K has some. Some some minor differences, you know. There are some gameplay tweaks here and there. Madden is literally hey, people still have their gripes. Like I was like, been the same. Well, it's really different like, about two K. But not, I mean, but that's the thing. Like the Nintendo Switch version of FIFA, people were playing it, and instead of saying twenty twenty, it was saying twenty nineteen. So it was yeah. the same fucking game. They just copied and pasted for the next yeah. year. This people, oh, they don't, EA, EA don't give a fuck. That's the first damn. thing, because they got the license. So you, that's like, as that's long like as they have the football. license, you got to buy the game if you want to play this type right. of game. Like, yeah, if you want to like play he's... football, you got to play Madden. If you want to play baseball, you got to play, play or play MLB, like the show. If you want to play basketball, you got to get NBA 2K. It's that simple. As long as these motherfuckers own, solely own these licenses and these 
uh, franchise but, licenses. But what's crazy is that they ain't gonna change. They're the only ones that bought it. Like 2K didn't buy the rights. They just stopped out live. That's different. Yeah, yeah, they um, did. Yeah, they didn't. They just, they just um, same, them out. <laughs> same thing with MLB. They don't have an exclusiveness that they have to be the only baseball. It's just that nobody wants to make baseball games because baseball is kind of a niche sport <laughs> in the video yeah. game world. So the fact that they bought the exclusiveness to football, the most popular sport in America, that's holding gaming back because 2K, I feel, would have been on the same pedestal with with with, with their their basketball their football game that. as their basketball they game. They would have. Well, you gotta that. also think yeah. about. You also gotta think about this. Look at how much they had to fucking pay to get men. They mm. they didn't have that type of money to shell out for all of them. <laughs> I mean, I don't care how popular Madden is, that shit cost a lot of money for them to get the exclusive rights. Oh, no, they, to... they, they make all that back. That's why they, they get these, right. these, these microtransactions. Them, them <laughs> microtransactions in Madden, that shit is worse than Call of Duty. You like, they are me. making ridiculous amounts of money. Madden, you you me, Madden, Madden makes more money on microtransactions than they do in game sales. Hell yeah. By a large margin. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and and what kills me is that like as the NFL, if I was NFL, I'd say anybody that wants it can get it for the same price. Like why why make it exclusive? Yeah, like, I don't if they want to pay an outrageous amount, cool. 2K, you want to do the same thing? All right, cool. You can be there too. Like, like I don't get it. I don't get it. See, I don't thing, understand why you would, think, you would think that the NFL would have saw NF NBA 2K success. Yeah. And they would have at least let 2K make a football game, also. But instead, they gave it back to man for some more years. Like, really? And you see how upset Disney was at us at uh, EA for all the microtransactions he did and in, in, in the bad light to put Star Wars yeah. in. Like, yeah, that's not a good so look. So, the difference having... is the differences with that, they still gave EA the like EA still got the Star Wars license. Yeah, they yeah, don't have a choice. They, yeah. Uh, if, did they re sign up or is it going out in 2021? Because they were, yeah. it was close, it's close to the uh, renegotiations yeah. for them. Yeah, but they, the, they did it, the contract extension, uh, I think it's for like two more years or some shit like that. So gotcha. they, because they, the, the difference is for as bad press as Battlefront 2 got. That shit it's is still, still sold. So, uh, right, yeah. it's still sold. So the only reason, the only reason Disney got involved was because all of a sudden that shit was on Good Morning America. And, you know, once the general public gets involved, that's when Disney gets involved. Outside of that, they don't give a fuck. But my they would have never said nothing why. if it wasn't on TV. My and if is, it wasn't causing lawsuits from around the world or governments to investigate yeah. it, yeah. they would have never said nothing. They would have not said a goddamn thing about all the microtransactions because they don't care. They just trying to get that money. So if EA but, makes their money, they don't care. But my point is, why not let everybody make you money? Why it just got to be EA? If I was if I was Star Wars or Disney, I'm just saying, Activision, you want to piece this too? All right, we can make a game that costs this much. Oh, uh, uh, whoever, we want to make this game? Cool, it costs this much. And you can get money from multiple people rather than just having one. I'm, like, I'm gonna tell get... you why. Because oversaturation. If seven different companies are making Star Wars games, people get tired of Star Wars games. Well, I'm saying like for a, like a lot of money. So like you're you're keeping off the people that is not serious about it, and you're focusing on people that's really need, you know trying to make this big thing. Like if you make it so expensive that only the big boys can touch it, you're not gonna get oversaturation. And but you're still gonna you get might, that same money back. Still, that, you might know still it. get it for even if two companies are making it. Right. Because you, you got to think about it like this. Every other year, type of game, though. every you other year you're getting a Star Wars movie, right? So every other year you're getting a Star Wars movie. And then if you were also getting a Star Wars game every year. From different companies, it will be oversaturation. Say that the like, Call of Duty. It's, it's the medium of Star Say Wars. Say the Call of Duty. <laughs> I, but <laughs> the difference is, Call of Duty. You know, you're gonna get Call of Duty, right? Well, here's the part, here's it's, the I'm saying Star Wars just, saturation across different mediums. So there's just, Star Wars cartoon. Shooters. There's a Star like, Wars cartoon. There's a Star Wars game. There's a Star Wars movie. There's um the, the Lego Star Wars. Like oversaturation is a thing. Even if it's not just this video game or this type of video game, I think, I it's think the, the, the medium itself. 
I don't. I think a genre can be. I don't think a a, 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 a property can be because back in the day, you might have a, a nice little old public. Then you have a pod racer. Then you have a, 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 a battlefront. Like there are different types of games you can make within the Star Wars universe. So like that's the part where I'm saying I don't think you can oversaturate it because you can make games that are vastly different that have nothing to do with another game that's out with the but Star Wars branding. But if it's football, what? How the hell are you gonna make football vastly different between each other? Because you're only two. There's only two companies. No, but my point is, is your point is, is you can't get oversaturation. Star Wars, yeah, I can understand the oversaturation bit and the fact that you you might not have oversaturation. But with football, how the hell are you going to not have oversaturation? Because there's only two. You can't have oversaturation with two. Like now, if everybody's but, making football games, I agree. I mean, but look, wasn't there NBA Live in 2K? Yeah, and 2K. Got and what happened? And what happened? And what and bingo. But the reason why is because it was inferior, not because it was like but it saturated. Was, it's the same, it's the same concept with um the baseball games. Everybody was making a baseball game. Yeah, and but then, baseball is and, baseball don't got the same amount of eyes that football and basketball do. Like I said, you're you're assuming the, the demographics for Star Wars. The people that are gonna buy the Star Wars games are gonna buy the Star Wars games. So it's just like it's just like Spider Man and the Disney deal, right? Disney was like, in order for us to get Spider Man on the big screen, which is what we care about, we can give this deal to Sony. They're gonna pay us a percentage, and then we can give them this deal. We don't give like they're gonna people are gonna buy a Spider Man game because it's a Spider Man game. That it was the same reason they had that deal with Activision all those years ago was because a Spider-Man game is going to be a Spider-Man game. People are going to buy it. And these studios, the, when they sell out these properties, they do it based on demographic screenings. And these demographic screenings says, we're tired of this character. We want this character. And it's the same with Star Wars. When Star Wars started to come back out and there was episode one and Solo, like all that shit, that alone already gave people fatigue. Like people were complaining to Disney that they were trying to milk the franchise. And that was from a movie coming out every year. So imagine a movie coming out every year, a game coming out every year from multiple different companies. It doesn't matter that it's different. It matters that it's Star Wars. You know what? Because people are going to buy a game because it's Star Wars. But I, I, I disagree as far as like the, the saturation point as far as the movies because if all of them were bangers, people would be there for it. Because look at Marvel. They fucking come out with how many movies a year and people see all them bitches. You know why? Because they people because people like them. They're, they're people good see movies. All the Star Wars part. movies. And those and movies are bad, and that's why people got like upset. <laughs> but people like, kept watching them though. No, they didn't. They fell off exponentially after the first one. The only one that didn't that nobody went and saw was solo. <laughs> Yeah, All the rest of them that sold. Was, they sold. They sold, but compared to the first one that came out, the first one for, wasn't it like the best-selling movie at the time, like right. of all time. And, for, for and why? <laughs> why? Why was that? Because it was Star Wars. No, because it was the first Star Wars movie in a long ass time. But typically, if there's a good sequel, it'll be somewhere near there. They're nowhere near there. Like those other other movies are nowhere near there. So they fell off exponentially. They still sold by regular movie standards, but not by their own standards. That that doesn't change anything. Like it's the same thing with all the but DC with Marvel characters. movies. Marvel movies, you can have fucking Captain Marvel sell a billion. Yeah, but not all Marvel movies movie. are good movies. They're just That's Marvel movies. I know, but what I'm saying is, as long as people are enjoying them, they're not going to complain about fatigue. People, people are always people, people like have Hardy. complained about Marvel movies for years. No, but 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 realistically, uh, then you also have to look at it this way with the Marvel movies, each movie is about a different character. That's my point. What I'm saying about Star Wars is you can have a different game, but a different time period, a different genre, different characters. That world is so lush that the fatigue would only be in the Star Wars in the title, not from anything in the game or the character. But see, the thing is, is with that, the, the world is lush and everything, but they try to stick with the original story. Like, there's tons of fucking books and shit that branches well, look the at, world look off Fallen, that they don't look, use. Look at Fallen Order. Fallen Order has nothing to do with Star Wars, basically. Only thing you saw was a, was a lightsaber that reminds you this is Star Wars. Look at the Mandalorian TV series. There is no fucking Jedi in there. They have they have people that are force sensitive, but nothing about that series screams fucking Star Wars movies. So like people, uh, uh, the Mandalorian, isn't that Boba Fett? Right. No. That's, li 
the, it's not. The, but <laughs> I'm saying the the Mandalorian. So I, I'll I'll say that right. So we'll go with the Mandalorian. The Mandalorian took a different take on the the story, right? But yeah. Solo was about a different character that everyone loves, right? They. They've done those individual stories, and people didn't like them because because it, it, the movie it, was bad, also. But you don't know that until you go see the movie. Correct. That's why you have a Suicide Squad. That's how you have a. a, 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 a and they a, a keep Captain making Marvel. these movies. But they keep making these movies. Ca Captain Marvel. Everybody despised Brie Larson. That shit still sold through the roof. And Captain Marvel is not a good movie. Yeah, because it's Marvel. So, but because it's right because it's Marvel. <laughs> So, so what I'm saying is, uh, so much don't for just theory. start making these. No, don't start. <laughs> don't just start making games because they're games. Like I don't want a whole bunch of trash Star Wars games just because they're Star Wars games. I mean, I like having I like having the options like how you had back in the day where you might see a different company make a different genre or type of game because that, that's probably the best era of Star Wars games is when other people made different ideas when you had different. And that was free you had, Disney. Disney is the one controlling no, that. No, I get that, but as far as the fatigue part, no, because you have a Battlefront, you have a of uh, the Force Unleashed, you have uh, a Pod Racer, you have a Battlefront, you have uh, a Nice Old Republic. You have fucking mobile games, and nobody complained about it because people like the games. <laughs> no, they didn't. Nobody bought them shits. <laughs> what games didn't they buy? What they, games? What games the, that were considered the, trash? The um, the the Force Unleashed. They the, the first one, one was trash. The first one, the first one didn't sell well, and they made another one because it's Star Wars. But but so, the first, but, but but the first one is. I mean, I don't know how it sold, but I know that game was well received. As far as like people that you know enjoyed it, that's like a classic. Hey, that's man, like, that's the same like, that. Days Gone. That's the same guy from Days Gone on that Force Unleashed shit. Uh, like the actor. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, and hey. like, like so, the Force Unleashed, um, the fucking the the um MOBA or not the MOBA, the um, nice MMO. Republic. Yeah, nice, nice old Republic. The nice old. Yeah, nice to the old yeah. Republic. Yeah. yeah, that that shit. That shit like, failed epically. That shit failed epically. Like, 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 like I used to play it. And it I used they, to play it. You it, used to have to pay $14.99 a month. There was not enough subscribers, and that shit but went that's free. Why. Play. No, <laughs> it, 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 trash. no, you but can't if it's good, play. it didn't matter. Yeah, you can't say that. So which one, which one is the one they remastered for the um for Xbox series or Xbox One? Was it part two? I know they went back and they brought an Xbox game over. <laughs> How did we start talking about Star Wars? But um, but my point is, <laughs> but my point is, even if it was paying fourteen ninety nine a month, look at World of Warcraft. You pay fourteen ninety nine a month for World of Warcraft, and that shit's still popular. It never went free to play. Star Wars: Night of the Old Republic. That shit went free to play within a year mm. because of how bad it was. But the game wasn't bad. It was the it was the subscription model that was bad. No, it's no, not. No, the, game. the game was not that good. The game was not good. So popular, like I hear because it went free to fucking play. Xbox. So people right. just was like, "Oh, it's free to play." It's just I'm like tired. Game Pass. People play on Game Pass. They play games because they don't have to pay for them. Because I know people that was like my favorite game on the original Xbox was was uh, Nice Old Republic. Like, I don't nice, know. The MMO was totally different than the mm -hmm. video game. It's not called Nice Old Republic. I forgot what it was. Okay, so y'all talking about a different game then. Yeah, we talking about the MMO, the online okay. game. Yeah. Either way, all I'm saying is I, 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 prefer, I prefer more options um, as long as they're quality games. I think exclusive, exclusivity in, in, in genres is stupid. Uh, and I'm done. <laughs> all right. I don't know how it twists to that shit, but hey. <laughs> it went there. Yeah. It's okay though. <laughs> Bring back 2K football. You ain't never laughed. No, that, what, I, I looked up on that and they said Madden, uh, well, uh, NFL owners, uh, they signed a, a, the exclusive deal to extend Madden until 2026. And possibly tw uh, another year, depending on how it sells. Because they don't fucking play video games. You know what I'm saying? They, they, want they, all, care, money. Man, they all, only thing they give two shits about is the, is the, is the dollar bills. Yeah. Play no damn game. Hey, hey, fucking Roger Goodell has a fucking connect in his man cave. I don't yeah. hear that. 
He got to deal with Microsoft. <laughs> he got saw. the service tablets on the sideline. He said, I'm repping out for whatever I'm getting paid from. Yeah. Uh, Hashtag fuck Madden. <laughs> <laughs> so, All right, y'all. Um, uh, last thing I want to talk about, man, is uh, the head of Xbox Live, Dan McCullough, leaves Microsoft. Does this matter, y'all? Do you know? I don't know. I mean, what did he do? What, tell me what he did first, and then I can tell you if it mattered. <laughs> The head of Microsoft, you know. Ahead I mean, Xbox well, well, Xbox well, well, the games of gold has been dog shit lately. Um, there's been a lot of inconsistencies with the with the with the service compared to previous years. Um, Game Pass. Uh, Why uh, you say lately? Like, like that should been good in the last like three years. Like why you say lately? They, <laughs> that's what, that's what I mean by lately because I'm going back to the like all the Xbox. Their, that's what I mean by all the Xbox. Like not just you know, like, this generation shit. that should have been absolute trash. As soon as Game Pass was announced, it went. They just like ah, oh, games of gold. Yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, I, I can, that might be a Microsoft what decision. Did, I don't know. What did that dude do? Who? What did he I do? Said, I don't know. Yeah, that's what we're asking. He was like, head of Xbox Live for the last, well, like he was um, at Xbox for the last fifteen years, but he was the head of Xbox Live. They said people complaining hey, about our gold. Get your ass out of here. But <laughs> see, that's that's got me wondering something because Microsoft is doing a lot of shit right now. They shut down Mixer. They mm-hmm. are boycotting Facebook after saying they're. Uh, putting everything on Facebook on Facebook, but Wait. then they turned around and said they're boycotting Facebook the next day due to something. Boycotting it, what? Yeah, yeah. Bo- boy- everybody, everybody's them. taking their ads they off. Boycotting of ads. Yeah. So, remember when I came on the show? Remember what the first thing I said was? Oh, Xbox is trash. Okay, I just want to put that out there. I just want to put that out there. That's a Microsoft thing. That's a Microsoft thing. Xbox saying I don't do that. But then you have this dude who's been with Microsoft for 15 years and over Xbox Live, and then he's fucking bouncing. What the fuck? And then did, did Microsoft he go, did he go Blizzard or no? And then Microsoft oh, shut down all their stores. Well, the reason why all stores. Well, the reason why all that stuff is happening is because it's the end of their fiscal quarter, uh, a fiscal year, I should say. So basically, anything that's not staying on this boat got to get out at this point because we're not bringing that into our next fiscal year. So yeah. that's I mean, I can understand that, mixer. but I can understand that, but all their physical stores are closing, but yet they're getting ready to launch a new something. Yeah, but they the stores the stores I don't ever think they made money. I don't think the store there's no there's no point for Xbox. And I think Microsoft they just store. came out with the new Surface as well. Yeah, so, like those, I mean, they were they were gonna be so, those are gonna be, they're, they're gonna be sold primarily on uh, yeah. Amazon and Best Buy. The they Xbox the stores or the Mic the Microsoft stores was because they want they wanted to be the same as Apple stores, so they yeah. made them. Like, yeah. I, but they don't I tell, tell those Apple people, I tell those people all, I tell everybody all the time that Xbox is competing with Apple. Just Phil, Phil fucking told y'all, Xbox competes with Apple. <laughs> they don't give a fuck about PlayStation or Nintendo. Yeah, they compete with the people bigger. who are in their tax bracket. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that was Microsoft sure. can be some people uh, in their tax bracket. That was Apple, sure. uh, uh, <laughs> Microsoft, uh, Microsoft brand type store. It just didn't work out the same. They don't yeah, have. They don't have enough products. Like Microsoft Apple. makes <laughs> trash ass hardware. Like, that's, that's not the true. surface. The surface not, is good. Okay. Yeah, I'll give the surface. Good. The surface is good. And then, uh, hopefully, this next Xbox ain't trash. I, I really Xbox, hope the X, the last two Xboxes were built very well. The also. the the, yeah, the, the Xbox One X is um is not great. Good. Okay, stop it's it now, Moss. Uh, it's, it's, it, it's not great. I'm gonna tell you why, right? So this is what they did with the Xbox One X. They proved that they could put a bigger GPU in it and then make lower res games. So like. It, you know, lower pixel counted games that that doesn't change anything. So they put okay. a bigger GPU and the CPU was still trash. So putting a GP a better GPU in it, that's great. But if it's limited by the rest of the hardware, it was pointless. But, but here, here's the part that 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 says it's better is because how loud is that PlayStation? That yeah. PlayStation Four Pro is fucking loud. I'm, I'm they not made saying it quiet. It's, it's whisper quiet. Also, I'm not saying it's not a better design with the, system with the with the, with the, with the liquid cooling solution. 
I'm yeah, saying it's not a great system. Bitch. Tell his ass. I said, not, I'm not yeah. saying it's not a better design system. I said it's not a be- it's not a great performing system. No, no, no. But we're talking. We're t- but that's the hardware limitations that they were they had to deal with. But the actual design of that console, how small it is, how powerful the the, the stuff the stuff is inside of it, how cool it is. I um, hope. The sound I hope that's the great. reason that the next that the PS5 looks like a fucking skyscraper is because it's gonna be quiet. Because if it's if it's as big as it's my TV and that shit still sounds like a jet engine, I'm throwing it the fuck out the window. Like, like, like the, when I turn my pro on to play The Last of Us, I have to put on headsets because oh, that shit is loud. Like, Man. there's no reason I have to turn my fucking speakers up that loud to hear it over this loud ass PlayStation. It doesn't make yeah. any goddamn sense. So I, I hope I hope. That is is quiet. I I suspect that the next Xbox is also going to be quiet. I just want it to perform better. I don't give a fuck. I don't. Get, well, I care, but I don't care as much. Like my, I'm sitting, you know, a half a foot from my PC right now. Y'all don't hear them fans. I don't know why the fuck the the PlayStation <laughs> sounds like that. <laughs> like can't like you can hear you're, that shit downstairs. That doesn't gonna, make any fucking sense. On, if you're gonna, you gonna stream the game, you got to make sure like it's like. Point it away from your mic. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> like I have to put a fucking sound dampener around it. Like I got to put <laughs> sound panels around the PlayStation to stream. That you shit don't make no mic. sense. You got to use a dynamic <laughs> you know, mic that's directional. <laughs> the only game I've ever heard make my Xbox One X kind of make like kind of a little loud, not as loud as the PS4 Pro was. Red Dead Redemption Two. For whatever reason, when I played that game, it was a little. I could hear. Hello, um, a fan. Yeah, you yeah, get a fan. That's the only game, though. It's the only game. Well, yeah, I'm not surprised I, with Red Dead Redemption 2. They talking about on PC, you need at least 12 gigs of RAM for that bitch. I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 like my PC runs it fine, but that's because it's my PC. Like, yeah. <laughs> but, but I like, I just want the the boxes to perform better. So. The Xbox One X, it didn't perform like they said it should perform. I hope that the Series X does. I hope that they stop making 30 FPS games. Like, give at least give I the damn five. At least give the goddamn option. Just make it optional. Make it well, that's, a, that's on the res, devs. Res, 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 right. Make it 1440p and every game run at unlock frames so that they can run above 60. Stop making I 30 mean, FPS or, or games. Give, or give an option like in the Switch with Witcher 3, uh, City Project Red did an update with it where we can choose a performance mode to make it run better. Mm-hmm. And you can give satisfy, an option. You can satisfy two crowds. The people that want graphics and people that want frames. And it's exactly. not hard because it's already being done on PC. Like these ga- these fucking consoles are just, they're, they are desig- like pre-built PCs. That's all they are. Yeah. They're pre-built PCs. So make this shit optional. Just turn on the options. Yeah. And let the people fuck with it. If they don't fuck with it, that's fine. You you make it so that the there's a designated, you know, mode that it's gonna run on, but give everybody the options to tweak it, just like you do on PC. This shit ain't hard. Like it ain't rocket science. And do it, you have to do it at the beginning of the generation. If y'all yeah. motherfuckers wait till the middle of the generation, nobody's gonna use that shit. Like like, how many people use the FOV slider in Battlefield? <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Like, that shit been in Battlefield 5. Don't nobody use that shit. Because no, no console people know that shit exists. Like, y'all got to do this shit at the beginning of the generation. Otherwise, nobody's going to give a fuck. I didn't even know it was on that game. Yeah. See? I, I, I wouldn't <laughs> use it. No, no, I know, I, no, no, I know what that is. <laughs> I know what that is because I play games on PC as well, but I I didn't know it was in there. Right, game. you didn't know. Right, they ha- that's how I said they have to do all these shits at the beginning of the generation. Otherwise, nobody gonna give a fuck. And that's why I think Sony is making sure that people are not getting used to sixty because they don't want to put out sixty frame games like that. So they're gonna show off thirty as much as possible <laughs> to keep your expectations where they are. <laughs> I hope Microsoft do what they said they were gonna do la- at the beginning of this generation, which is make sixty FPS games. Because at the beginning of this generation, when um, PlayStation started talking about resolution, Xbox was talking about frame rate. But then they went back on their word real quick as soon as all these, all the 
the well, outlet started friends. doing the the, yeah. the resolution um comparisons as soon as that shit happened they went then back they and they were real fucking bad. yeah they switch <laughs> because they, they what i think is they actually played games and they say if i'm playing a game i'd rather have frames so they talk about frames but then like all the backlash came from the resolution and they said you know what fuck it if people want the resolution put the resolution in there we'll make a console put it 40k fuck it whatever and like that drove the narrative is uh, as resolution. This next generation, I don't think it's going to be resolution as much as it is going to be frames because TVs are capped out right now as far as you know the the general you know uh, public. So most people still to this day don't have 4K TVs, and the ones that have 4K TVs, they're going to stay with their 4K TVs even if the console can do higher than that. That's what's capped at. So what's the only thing left is frames, and and you know other features like you no know, free sync and stuff and stuff like that. So. You know, I, I I fully feel like they they should be able to do those based on what they're comparing the hardware to. So like, if you're comparing a 2080 to to to, to a Series X, I don't know I don't know 2080s that can't do 60 plus on like goddamn most games. So I expect these games to be 60 plus. Hey, Sonoma, you got this last super chat before we get out of here? Yep. Uh, Rice Cedar 79 with the two dollars. Microsoft will do 60 frames per second and 120 frames per second because they'll be Xbox One games. Rice Cedar, funny that was, man. That was cute. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's time for us to get out of here, man. Thank you to everybody in the chat. Rice Cedar, the narcissist, phase 114, geekhead 188, the dentist. Uh, everybody in the chat. Juby Sensei Savage Manu 92 Starry, I'm truthful. Everybody that I see, Shinju Ronin. Uh, yeah, you are. We about to get out of here. Thank you, everybody. The show the Iron Mike, True Witty. Um, so Matt, bro, what you got going on, man? You got anything going on, man? You just chilling, uh, busy. Uh, yeah, I've been, I've been working like a shit done. I went from traveling a lot to being home a lot, but working even more. Which is that shit? That shit was hurt. This shit hurts. Like I, I've been working like fourteen-hour days for like the last two and a half months. Damn, six days a week. And and because I put my I put my team on three-hour shifts. Like they they work twelve hours a day, three-hour shifts. Um, and I split the team in two, so they work six days of the week. But I'm there with both teams. Mm. And I get there an hour before them. I leave usually an hour after them. So, damn. Luckily, that shit's about to change because this shit, this shit's for the oh. birds. <laughs> oh shit! All right. What's up, Koi? Hey, what's going on with you, bro? What's popping, man? What's popping? True witty, the Dark Lord Fusion. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Uh, so, Moss, may you be kind of quiet this show, man. What's going on with you, man? You got something going uh, on? Yeah, um, stay there trash. That's what he's he mad. <laughs> yeah, right. You you know you lie. Uh, I'm playing. No, I'm trying to play this damn monster, boy. This shit is hard as hell. Um, <laughs> no, we got the SSC podcast coming tomorrow. We got some more Division 2, Season 2. And uh, no, that's about it, man. That is about mm-hmm. it. I'm just trying to stay out of my wife's way so she don't ruin my week. Uh, <laughs> she's home. <laughs> okay. Did I cut out? I don't know if I cut out on y'all when I was talking. Yeah, you cut out for a second. Um, uh, Snow Bunny, what you got going on? Okay, right. Um, looking for somebody to uh, do some repairs on my house. Oh, okay. I got uh, plumbers coming out tomorrow, and I need to find a roofing company. Okay. Yeah. Nah, what I was what I was asking Moss was not Moss, Mass. I hate when you both. <laughs> but uh, Mass, I mean, you're a PC guy. We don't have too many PC guys on the show. Um, what do, what are you excited for in the next iteration? I won't say generation because PC is not really generations, but on the horizon, like what's what's what are you excited for? What are you waiting for as far as in the PC world? Um, I'm happy that consoles won't suck as much, so that <laughs> the <laughs> The limitations that we're currently in right now by year three or so, we won't have any of those. Because even it, regardless of how much Xbox keeps saying no game are left behind and all that shit, they're, they're, they're going to stop. They're going to stop that shit eventually. Yeah. So um, it's just like from a manufacturing standpoint, it's, it's pointless. So once that happens, that's what I'm excited for, because. Um, like I said, PlayStation is going to start making, they're, they're going to start 
doing more shit to PC. Um, as soon as they they find out how these sales gonna tweak, so we'll get those games for free. We already get all the Xbox games for free. Oh man! Um, so you know, I, <laughs> not we, we out here living sense. our best life. So I'm good to go. <laughs> we got the Switch emulator. I'm I'm chilling. I'm I'm, I'm chilling. Hey, hey so so is this true that the the, the PC will hold next game next generation of game behind because Fuck no. still have, because they still have spinning hard drives. Fuck no. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Because uh, when the, will SSD the, be fully adapted? The way PC adapted. works, I thought SSD was already fully adapted. No, no adopted. I mean, adopted meaning like it has. No, that's what I'm saying. Requires. I thought like no, shit. I've been running like, SSD games. for a minute. No, nah. no, you can run it, but as far as being required, like that's what will take gaming to the next level. Is when we don't have to worry about you know a uh, fucking spinning drive when you have a game. No, it'll just the the minimum specs will start changing. Yeah. That's that's the only difference, and that's fine to me because the reason we're still on normal hard drives for most shit is because consoles are still on normal hard drives. Yeah, yeah. like as far as gaming goes, like so. Once they change over, everything else will migrate. Yep, without by itself. Like so, on PC, when they make a game, they make it for the highest denominator. And then tone it down to where it don't work. And then it gets cut. And then, and then that's what they set as the baseline for the bottom specs. Like that's mm-hmm. what they set as the minimum specs. They don't they don't do it the the way console does it. They design it the best way they can and mm-hmm. say, This is the way we want you to run it. And then this is the way you can run it where it'll actually play. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. That's that's the difference. PC goes high to low, consoles go low to high. So no, it'll just make uh, hot SSDs cheaper. So thanks for that. I'm excited for that. I appreciate <laughs> consoles making SSDs cheaper. <laughs> okay, y'all. All right. So um. So what are you right. up to this week, Dirt? Yeah, you never talked about this. So what are shit. you oh, up right. to this you week, Dirt? I ain't doing shit. I'm still uh, off. You know, they got me doing the one week on, two weeks off. And this is one of my off weeks, so I've been chilling, man. Shit, playing games, you know. So that's about it, man. That's about you it. Now, fantastic. You, 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 you finally gonna beat uh, all the PlayStation games you never beat? <laughs> yeah, I yeah, I'll be. I mean, I'm gonna try to <laughs> see the ghost is cheap out there. To get that death stranding pop, yeah, no, fuck yeah. that death stranding. That's <laughs> that was a waste of 63. dollars I'm gonna tell you that right now. Uh, you should have bought a physical, you could have yeah. traded it in and got 30 bucks back I, at least. I got a digital, got a digital. Yeah, I buy my PlayStation games physical because for that exact reason, I used to, but I don't be feel like going to the store no more. Man, I, just, like, <laughs> I can wait a day, I don't have to play the game today. Come out, I played the afternoon to come out. Amazon, yeah. shout to you. Like, <laughs> I got a GameStop guy, and the last time I was in a store. He was like, I thought you died, man. Like, I, I was like, what? He was like, he was like, yeah, I saw on Facebook, like people are giving condolences. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> he was like, you ain't been in here. So I was like, I thought you died, bro. I was like, well, I, was like I, I just canceled all my pre-orders at GameStop. I think they're a little mad at me. Oh man! Fuck that. I had to, I went in because right, remember, my guys, I told you, got, my GameStop was condemned. Yeah. Mm. Well, it finally opened up, and they had been open for like three hours, and I walked in there and got a refund. Oh shit! Oh, shit. <laughs> After they've been shut down for a month. I respect that. Respect hey, what's that. up, Koi? All right, bro. I highlight you. I don't understand Boy, why people pre-order games in the first place because half the time, all right, y'all niggas keep on having casual conversation. I'm trying to get out this bit. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> kiss my ass. <laughs> oh, they do you every week. Hey, the dude was hey, hey man. Like so now, I'm waited to to like we was at the one hour and fifty nine minute mark to ask um. Like, man, ask a question about PC and shit. I'm like, ain't this a bitch? You should have been saying, listen, I had to be the host sometimes. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm about to get out of it. All right, Devin, you ain't got nothing going. You playing games and shit like that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Same shit. Yeah. All right, y'all. We about to get out of here. Like, they're acting like he got a booty call already. He said, she said, nah, 11. Buns, y'all man. got me late. Hey, man, sure, you know. <laughs> hey, man once the wife fall asleep, no buns for me. It's fact. 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 It's fact.
<laughs> you know, so all right, everybody. Thanks again for joining us tonight, man. I, I know some of my Xbox fans in the chat, you know, you know, it's like some of the Xbox guys that rock out with us. They was like, Who is this mass dude? But trust me, he can hear cool guys. Well, they, they he don't give a fuck about dude. nothing, man. He don't care about PlayStation, yeah. Xbox, right. Nintendo. <laughs> I, I talk about everybody equally. Everybody <laughs> equally. Opportunity hater. This is, yeah. this is a factual statement. Yeah. All right, y'all. We out here. Peace out, y'all. Peace it's my ass. Right. Hey, hey, yo, uh, mass, mass. Yo, what you just say, man? <laughs> say kiss my ass. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man. That is that is typical. Man.